right, I'm live. Welcome. I'm live. I'm still... I, I won't put the camera on. I'm cleaning away my desk. I was practicing electric guitar for a second and forgot that I was streaming. <laughs> That's why I'm like a minute late. My electric guitar... My, my amp is on my desk right now. I mean, you can probably hear it. Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's on my desk. I was trying to learn the chords for uh, Zombie by the Cranberries. It turns out that's maybe the easiest song ever written. And I'm still bad at it. Better than Kazoo? I could do both, couldn't I? Hang on. might be the worst sound I've ever produced and I'd like to formally apologize. I'm gonna put this down now on the floor. <laughs> Hang on, I need to plug it out. Oh god. I keep my uh, my amp on the floor basically as a footstool until I remember it exists. It's not even big, I'm just weak. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, guitar is back on the wall and then Lights are on. Should be fine. I didn't even put in a pot on eyeliner. I completely forgot I was streaming, if I'm honest. <laughs> okay, let me just uh, make sure the mic is all set up fine. It should be. Okay, there we go. I'm live. I can switch over to this. Hello, it's me. I'm live. Welcome. <laughs> I love that version. What have you sent me? Every guy with the guitar. Oh, no. If this, this is either going to be Wonderwall or Zombie or... What's the th other songs that everybody plays on guitar? I don't even know. I'm not really a guitarist. Hey guys, you brought your guitar again. Oh, you're going to play right now. Okay. Today is going to be the day. He's playing Wonderwall again. Hey, Can... did you say Wonderwall? Does your friend want to hear? Put him on speaker. <laughs> I said maybe. Do we have any I friends? fucking hate Oasis. Hey, throw it back. Throw it back to you? Oh, no, no. Gonna throw it back to you. I don't believe a word you say. I don't believe that it is. <laughs> the word is on the street. That's hey, guys. You brought your guitar. Honestly, kind of accurate. I, I come from a family where my brother is a, a metal guitarist and drummer. Like a punk and a metal guitarist and a drummer. My uncle was in like a folk rock band and then like a metal band as well as a bassist and a guitarist. Um, so anytime Christmas happens, um, they all bring their fucking guitars. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you'd just stop at I Come From A Family. I like Wonderwall. Apparent, my, my dad was really into Oasis and would apparently play me that album, whatever one that Wonderwall comes from. What's the story? Morning Glory? Probably. That's their biggest one. But, um... He would apparently play me that album on loop as a baby to get me to sleep. And I grew up hating Oasis. I don't know if there's a correlation there or a causation there, but something happened. <laughs> Fucking hate Oasis now. Um, anyway, yeah. So basically, anytime my uncle comes over from Spain or my brother's around at like a holiday thing, a guitar will appear as if from the ether and some guitar songs will get played and like somebody will go never wonder wall because i think all of us know the trope but they're always like oh here's a here's some neil young <laughs> just in the corner at christmas it's like oh no i kind of like it i'll be honest it's it's fun <laughs> it's one of those irish stereotypes the whole like live music everybody gathering in a circle singing thing that it does actually happen Annoyingly, it's a stereotype that holds up. I've never seen a bow Ron at Christmas, but I'm sure there's one hanging around. I don't. I, I know my uncle brings like a bag of drums and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> sounds unbelievably twee now that I'm saying it out loud. I'm kind of looking forward to it to be honest. Anyway, um, full camera. I guess I'll load up. What is the council? It is the game I was playing last week. I'll do like a quick thing of like explaining it for like a minute before we get into it, just for anybody who wasn't here last week. Or was it set last Saturday, maybe? I can't remember. Well, uh, I was just thinking that. I want that. It sounds great. No one in my family plays any instrument. I mean, to say I play instruments is rough. Like, um, Sunday two weeks ago. Good memory. Um, go get the stream started. Wordleplay.com I have already played the Wordle. Or, 
Oh, is this a different wordle? Is this like a... Oh, is this like a, a, a refreshing wordle? Is this like a, a, a wordle that is different from the normal wordle? Because I've never seen this URL before. Ooh, yes. Okay, one second. <laughs> this time we'll do a wordle. I have never lost a wordle. Out in the proper word, in the official wordle. I'm on a 50 streak and I've never lost one. But I'm not particularly good at it. I usually get in like four. It reads. <laughs> Scroll down a bit. Oh, I understand. I can play different lengths and languages. I'm not going to be able to do any of those. Okay, bad start. This is my de is my standard st Loodle? Loodle? Where's Loodle? Play Loodle. Uh, middle click, open that in a new tab. <laughs> okay. Um, already not great. Let's try... See, this is the kind of thing that I... I'm not good at because it it I average probably about 15 minutes per wordle. I really take my time and just go like mm -hmm. and like stare at it over and over. And I'm not very good at doing it quickly. Hang on, let's play some chopped up piano in the background. It's by Louis Zong, if you're if you're interested, who I really like. Um Gint. <laughs> what about no, back, back, backspace is that. I don't know why I'm typing with my opium. <laughs> I don't know why I'm typing with my mouse when I have a keyboard in front of me. Let's try... No, it can't be L, can it? Let's try... Chime? Oh, okay! Um... So it's... C H I E. I don't know this word. I think. She, cheel, cheek, cheese, chief. Oh, I'm so dumb. There we go. <laughs> One minute forty-five. That's basically how it usually goes. Is me going? What the fuck? There's no word that starts with C H I E. That's not a thing. There's no word in the. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. That's basically how it works. Gonna go get some tea before the council? I should have gotten some tea. I'm stuck with some apple squash again. Although I put some ice in it and it's less strong this time. So hopefully it's good. This is Loodle. No, still awful. Wish I hadn't poured it. Um, oh, I don't know. What would be in it? <laughs> I'll make you a cup too. The famous Wordle game is finally available in a profanity version. Play this lewd word game, but be careful not to show it to kids. Um, I I can't remember a swear word. Fucks. Oh no. <laughs> um, surely there isn't that many swear words. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I can't. I think. Um. I can't think of a single swear word now, or like profane word. I hope there are no slurs in this at least. Yeah, that would be bad. Hopefully not. Hopefully it doesn't pull from um, Urban Dictionary or something. Um, The Y at the end scares the fuck out of me, I'll be honest. <laughs> like, because there's a Y at the end, now that's instantly where my mind has gone. Um, let's say... I don't know, ratty? No, I don't know if I know any swears. Uh, Fanny, there's no F but uh, or A. But m probably in it, hmm. There's no C and there's no U, so it can't be like cunty or <laughs> um, um. But. I don't know. There's not many letters left, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't think of a word. I bet it's some obscure 18th century swear word. I follow a Twitter account called, um, oh, what's it called? I'll get to the game in a second, by the way, but um, I am um, Willy. It could be. It could actually be Willy. Welcome, Mikey. 
It's fucking Willy! Willy's not a profane word, is it? That's not profanity. Watch your profanity. Like, that's not a prof... That's... Willy is what a, an eight-year-old calls a penis. Like, that's not a prof... That's not a particularly raunchy word. Like, if you were watching some... Like, an 18-rated movie and somebody called somebody a Willy, you'd... You'd turn it off, right? I'll do one more and then I'll get into the, the actual game I'm playing today. Okay, one more. Because I found that funny. Um, fuck it, Willy. Okay, it starts with W. Stroke my Willy. Oh. See, again, it's something an eight-year-old said. I think even eight-year-olds are more mature. Um... Again, I hope there's no slurs. <laughs> um, whoopee? I don't know if we're going like things that aren't actually profanity. Wank. Oh, wanks. Yes, wanks could be it. <laughs> Wonks could also be it, I think. Uh, wood. Woody. <laughs> um, fine, I'll try wanks. Not a valid word. This game is... Terrible! Wank- Willy is a word, but wanks isn't. Excuse me? Um, so what? It's fucking... Uh, zero out of ten. Wank. <laughs> I would say it's... Um... I honestly can't think of one. Wussy? If... <laughs> Oh no, it can't be, can't be a Y. Um, again, if it's something really obscure and regional that I don't know. Because I, it seems like I only know about four swear words. I know, you know, fuck is the one I use. Oh, good shout. Oh, okay. Not quite there. Also, I don't know if I'm going to allow that <laughs> to get through in normal chat, by the way, Verlet. But we'll see. I'll allow it because of the game. Um, so it's... It might be... What word could this possibly be? Wench? If it's wench, then this is the least profane word in the world, right? It's fucking wench! Wench! What is the meaning of this word? Wench. Everybody knows what a wench is. Never play this again. Wench definition by Miriam. What the fuck? Is they have their own search engine? I'm looking at the Wordle Play search engine. Excuse me? Old fashioned. A young woman, a girl. Let's have some real swears. I, know. I typed in cunty on the first one and it went, nah, it's not that. The game expects Henry. <laughs> a female servant. A woman or of socially low class. Okay. Archaic, a promiscuous woman, a female prostitute. But that's... I've never even heard it as a, as a term for prostitute before, like a sex worker. Wench. I just... Like, I think of sort of tavern wench, tavern wench or like medieval wench. Anyway... <laughs> That was Ludl. <laughs> I'll load up the council now. I don't know. I don't even know how much longer I have left in the first episode of the council, and I have not bought the other episodes. So you may see a purchase live on stream. That might be a thing. Might be a same thing a lot of the time. True. I guess that's probably true. Anyway. Oh, I don't know if I showed this off. I bought this necklace for myself for my birthday. Necklace. It is the most hippie. Ridiculous necklace I've ever seen. It is full of ferns and leaves and bits of tree and bark and stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah, it fits now. I got like a little cord. I bought, hang on, it's right here actually. I bought a, a five meter length of black cord and uh, like cut it with my pliers and then tied it in a knot and that was it. <laughs> anyway, cool. Uh, let's go to the council. I have the thing on my desktop. I can't remember what control system I used for this. I can't remember if I used a controller or a mouse. I guess we'll find out. Let's go over to games. It should all be working and everything should all be set off. Oh, that is disgusting. I'm throwing this... I've decided I'm throwing the apple squash away after today. 
I've I've tried it with ice. I've tried different levels of. Oh God, I forgot how pointy his face was. <laughs> It's been a while since I played this and I forgot just how pointy his face was. Okay, for people who weren't here, I'm going to try, just for my own sake as well, I'm going to try and refresh my memory and refresh all your memory about what this game is about, right? Pointy boy. He looks like if a wizard turned a rat into a human. Whoa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like his chin. It feels like he could, like, do that with his chin and just kill someone. Anyway. This is a game about a secret society called the Golden something or other. Golden Order? Something like that. Anyway, which my mum and me, this character, are a member of. Um, we, My mum has gone missing on a creepy aristocrat's island. And she sent me a letter. We're like treasure hunters. She sent me a letter to come get her. I've arrived and now she's missing and she's like left clues on the island and I'm trying to figure it out. We met George Washington who may have fucked my mum. We met Napoleon who I don't think did. And we met uh, another woman who looked a bit like Emma Watson who might still be evil. I don't know. And they're all members of this club except Napoleon isn't. Um, there's like some creepy stuff going on with like French soldiers and intrigue and we're trying to basically figure out the mystery. That's I think what I gathered from last time. <laughs> We're not even done the first episode. And it's one of those, like, make choices and roll stats and stuff like that. You met Napoleon? Yes, Napoleon is in this game. Not a particularly flattering rendering of Napoleon, I have to say. <laughs> he's, um, he's very bald and quite um insecure about it, is what I would say about his model. Pretty much that's it. Okay, play. Save game one uh, for Gorgon. And I think I saved just at the start of a chapter or at the end of a chapter i can't remember yeah last thing we saw was we had just all had dinner together all of the characters in this little area and some intriguey stuff to coming on was coming on and napoleon asked to talk to us and we completely botched it by saying like oh the peasants should should you know have control of more of their state and he was like what the fuck did you just say <laughs> so he really doesn't like us so yeah did you see Napoleon in Waterloo, though, yet? No comment. <laughs> Consult your journal frequently. God, the screen went completely black there for a second. I badly need to clean my monitor. I am very glad that doesn't come through on the stream. Oh, and there was a, a priest who may have also fucked my mum? That was definitely hinted at. And so we are playing pointy... Um, what's his name? Adrian Brody? Looks like if Adrian Brody was combined with a rat. That's our main character. The priest scoffing himself with treats, as usual. Uh, I don't think I'd like any. Actually, are these baked potatoes in the background? No, I think there's some sort of bun. I think there's some sort of bun, which means not interested. Is there anything savory here? Or is it just like sweet treats? I think it's just sweet treats. <laughs> I think I think it's just like fruit and cakes and stuff. Maybe they're under here, hiding. Hello. How do I click again? Well, your there we go. do you still have any room left? Ah, uh, my son, this sin no gluttony is the most And I know he's meant to be Italian, this priest, Never but he sounds to me exactly like Bella Lugosi. Is Napoleon average height or short boy in this game? Average height, he's the same height as me, I think. Oh, Jesus. I accidentally hit my escape button. spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people. Eternity. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer. Did you fuck my mum? You'll see. It's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. He um, hated I me. I quickly to local customs. Hated me. I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, no, not still at nothing. all. I think she might be but dead. I still haven't been able to meet. That's my guess so Lord. far. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? This isn't Elden Lord Ring. <laughs> He's a very busy man. I, I will say I probably when a patch comes out. Welcome, Vader, by the way. When a patch comes out that fixes the Elden Ring um, stuttering problems that are apparently rife, I'll probably buy and play Elden Ring on stream. I'm getting FOMO for it. Like I, I, I was like, okay. 
probably people wouldn't be that interested in watching me play anyway. Maybe I'll play it off camera or maybe I won't play it for like a few months or something. Wait for it to come down in price. And then I saw all the posts about it this morning on Twitter and I was like, oh, I really want to play Elden Ring now, actually. <laughs> and then I looked on Steam and saw that it's basically unplayable on PC in its current state. So I went, okay, I'll wait for a patch, then buy it. That's sorted. Because um, I do not have a PS5 or... Is it out on Xbox? I don't have a console, basically. I need to get one, I know, but I don't have one. Anyway, um, I think I, I should think you were beginning to worry. No, not really, I'm sure. My From what we saw of our mum, she was way, way, and I mean way cooler than us. Like, the opening cutscene to this game was her, like, tricking a guy and then shooting him in the chest, I think. <laughs> like, tied up. Basically, she's like a cool Miss Marple. So I think she'll be fine. She's like Indiana Jones crossed with Miss Marple, whereas we're more the Watson. We're just kind of there. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Yeah. Perhaps uh, Sarah uh, is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. Is everyone fucking my mum? But while I have you with me, I... I mean, good I for her, I guess. Although I don't know about the priest. What can uh, I do for you? Um... I'm looking for a Medusa. That was a thing. We found a secret note from our mum, I think, that said, look for look for the halls where the Medusa gazes upon you or something equally esoteric and strange like that. As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. That's not how you say that word, I think. <laughs> yes. La, la hey, Gorgonia, you seen a Medusa, Medusa around here? Would you have seen one in any shape or form? <laughs> not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not this, going to be of any Is use. this what an Italian Thanks accent sounds like? I've never met an Italian person. take up any more of your time. On that last word... It sounds so much like Dracula. Your demons. See you later, your minutes. I guess See they're all later. from that kind of area, right? Kind of south-central Europe. Like, that's... It's all kind of the same accent, to be honest, I guess. Um... Oh, no, I have met. I, there's a, a, an Italian restaurant in my town run by an Italian person, and he's the most stereotypical Italian man I've ever seen. He does this when he talks. It's great. <laughs> His name is Luigi, and he does this when he talks. <laughs> it's fantastic. It doesn't sound Italian. You're right. It's definitely Bella Lugosi. Welcome, Auntie Zara. That is how you pronounce Medusa in every other language other than English. You're the only ones that have the sharp S sound in that word. I do know, because I watched a video on it, I can't remember why, that apparently to... Because I remember looking this up. Bela Lugosi was from Romania. He was he was from Austro-Hungaria. Austro I don't know which part it, it, it is now. Where was he? He was, from, he was from a town called Lugos. That's where he gets his name from, Bela Lugosi. Um... Where was he from? One second. <laughs> Bela, Bela Lugosi. Is that... Is, is, Lugos Town. Is that in Hungary now, or is he in... No, it's now in Romania. Cool. But, um, yeah. It's, it's from relatively close to Transylvania. Dracula was from Romania. And so was Bela Lugosi. I will say, I, I was expecting, because I watched Bela Lugosi's Dracula fairly recently. And we're both right. I, um, I watched, um... Bela Goes with Dracula recently, and I was expecting it to be not very good, and I was expecting him to be really bad in it. Like, I was expecting Bela Lugosi to be, like, quite campy and dumb in it. He was great, and his accent, I think it's kind of racism against Eastern Europeans that, um, his accent has been really exaggerated by everybody else who does an impression of him. Because, my god... <laughs> Like, he was completely understandable and had quite a subtle accent in that movie. But whenever anybody does a, a Dracula impression, they go, Rah, I want to suck your blood. And I was like, this seems offensive to Bela Lugosi now, looking back. Like, like the Count from from uh, from Sesame Street kind of thing. He's so good, a legend. I really liked it. I thought it was a good movie. My favorite is still probably Christopher Lee's version, but I liked it. Oh, have you seen Ed Wood by Tim Burton? I did, and it is probably his best movie, I would agree. Do I? I really, really like Beetlejuice. There's kind of only two movies I like by Tim Burton, but it's Beetlejuice and Ed Wood. Ed Wood's probably the better one. Like, Ed Wood is probably... Oh, yeah, I forgot we looked up Wench earlier because of a noodle. Um, Ed Wood is probably his most, like, impressive movie. I, I like um, I like Beetlejuice, though. It's funny. Just any, any movie that is ostensibly a kid's movie. If you don't know Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is a kid's movie about death. Right? It's, um, 
It's and not in a, an Inside Out way. It's um, it's just like a funny comedy movie. But it stars Michael Keaton as a demon called Beetlejuice, and he says "fuck" in it. Like it's a kids' movie. It's rated PG. It's from like eighty nine or something like that, or eighty seven, something like that. And he says like "ah fuck this" or something in it while while humping the air. It's it's really not appropriate for kids, to be honest. There's people with slashed wrists and stuff in it. It's, it's a great movie, though. Unpopular opinion, my favourite Tim Burton movie is Batman. I think the years have not been kind to Tim Burton's Batman. It's all right, if I'm honest. Here's my unpopular opinion rated to Batman. I prefer Batman Returns to Batman. I think the, the 1989 Batman... I prefer Batman Returns, the sequel with Michelle Pfeiffer and uh, Danny DeVito and Christopher Walken, because it's fucking insane, and it's such a clear sort of um, Tim Burton wanting to get uh, wanting to get his fetish into the movie that they fired him afterwards. They said it was too goth, and like Michelle Pfeiffer dressed in like all the leather catsuit stuff, and you know all of the shots of Batman's crotch, and then. Danny DeVito vomiting black goo all the time. They they said, this is too weird. We're going to replace you with Joel Schumacher. And we all know how that went. Bat nipples. Bat nipples was Clooney and Val Kilmer, I think. Yeah, Batman. I had them all and I watched them all a lot. Batman and Robin is a truly horrible film. Um, I remember my dad bought me, because I was vaguely into Batman at the time. When I was a kid, my dad bought me a box set of all the DVDs. Batman, Batman Returns, Batman... Forever, the one with Jim Carrey and uh, what's his name, the one who's normally good but is terrible in that one, Tommy Lee Jones, that is, and uh, Batman and Robin. And I remember going, "Oh, Batman's really good. Oh, Batman Returns is even better. Oh, what the fuck has happened here?" <laughs> even at like eight years old, they are truly awful movies. Anyway, and that's the one with bat nipples and the bat credit card. I should probably play the game, shouldn't I? <laughs> one second. <laughs> Forgot I was playing a game there. I was talking about Batman. The Devil's Thorn be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Lovely. I think that's basically like Kingdom Come Empathy. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Do I have a triple circle key? Uh, use the key. Oh, I can unlock it. I can pick the lock. That's probably fine. The only Batman movie I've watched is Batman and Robin. Oof. What? The best Batman movie is probably Dark Knight. I almost hate to say it because I don't really like Christopher Nolan that much. But, um... It's probably Dark Knight, right? It's probably the best Batman movie. It can only get better for you, exactly. You have a lot to look forward to if you're into Batman. Honestly, I think the best Batman media is, um, is, what's it called? Uh, the animated series. I, I really genuinely love the animated series with, uh, Mark Hamill's Joker and stuff. My favorite is The Dark Knight. Don't even remember Batman in it, though, but Heath Ledger's cool. That's the problem. I rewatched the the Batman trilogy a couple of years ago. And Batman Begins is okay. It's fine. The Dark Knight Rises, the third one, is pretty bad. I don't really like it. And Batman, um, The Dark Knight is good, but only when Heath Ledger's on screen. And he's only on screen for about 15 minutes of the movie, and it's like two and a half hours long. Christian Bale is not particularly good in it. Like, it's it's a little dull when Heath Ledger isn't around or being talked about or whatever. It is worth it to watch Heath Ledger. Worth it, though, exactly. It's a bit like um, Silence of the Lambs. I think Silence of the Lambs is probably a better movie, uh, despite some weird stuff in it, if you know what I mean. But, um, you know, Silence of the Lambs... Hannibal Lecter is only on screen for nine minutes in that movie, and it's about two hours long again. But he's the only character you really properly remember from it. He's like, he's the main character of that movie, even though he's not really. Anyway, unlock the lock, probably. So it's a similar kind of thing. I oh, usually watch Silence of the Lambs again. I remember really liking it. I don't know how badly it's aged. Remember that scene where he eats somebody's face being quite frightening? Everything. Uh, Royal Jelly? Was that it? Oh. <laughs> That was not worth it, if I'm honest. I love Anthony Hopkins. I do too. I still need to watch, um... What's the, that Shakespearean movie he's in? Is it Titus? <laughs> I think. And I still need to watch The Father. I've been meaning to watch that one with Olivia Colman and him. Discourse on the Method by Descartes. Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the I world. I cannot do French pronunciations. I've never read Descartes. I've never read any philosophy, really. I've never... I, I'm very uncultured when it comes to that. I'm, I am I was considered quite well-read as a child. 
but secretly all I read was trashy fantasy novels. Like I remember teachers always seeing me with a book in my hand and a lot of the time it would be hardcover so they, and the dust sleeve was usually gone because I'd found it annoying. So I'd be like just reading a book and they'd be like, oh, it's so nice that, uh, they weren't English, I don't know why I'm doing this, but you know what I mean? Like, um, oh, they, it's so nice that you're so well read and you're so, you, you're reading all the time. Meanwhile, it's just like, orc smash man with axe, man hit man with sword. <laughs> it's like, really not exactly high art. My favorite is Remains of the Day. I've heard that's really good. Also, Emma Thompson's in it. And uh, I had kind of, one of my first ever crushes as a kid was Emma Thompson. And embarrassingly, it was an animated movie. It was Treasure Planet. Emma Thompson plays like a hot cat woman in that. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I think I'm, I'm into this when I was very young. I watched Treasure Planet a lot, and it's, I don't know if it's good. I, I was just very young, and it was one of the only movies I had at the time. Anyway, should I be going this way? I remember the main character being really irritating. Oh, I forgot how gaudy this house was. Oh, my God. I like the paintings, don't get me wrong. I like walking around Crawford Art Gallery and stuff like that, but, like, um... The marble columns and the fucking giant the statue. Up here is that monumental Zeus. Oh, it's Zeus. It oh, I guess that here. makes sense. Okay, fair enough. I'm looking for a Medusa. I thought that was a seal, but it's just how these were laid out. I think my girlfriend actually saw a clip of Remains of the Day recently and said that we should watch it. So maybe I'll uh, find it and, and watch it later. Remains of the... I think it's a very slow burning drama. Which I have to, I kind of have to be in the mood to watch that kind of thing, but you know, I'm kind of into it. Imagine just sitting here and looking up at that all day. The things people did before television. I used to sit in the library at lunchtime as a 12 year old girl and read a monster's almanac every day. The librarian used to come and recommend new almanacs to me. Absolute legend for letting a girl embrace what was typically boyish things. That's incredibly cool. The book is also great. I didn't even know it was based on a book. That's incredibly cool. I I mean, it, it's giving me flashbacks to, um, yeah, sitting, like, instead of going to PE class in, in secondary school when I was, like, 12 or 13, I opted out and went to the thing that was meant to be a punishment, which is where everybody had to sit quietly in a room and read. <laughs> And I, it was people who had been in, like, detention and had, like, acted up in PE class around me, going like, oh, I don't want to read, I want to be out there running around. And meanwhile, I'd be like, oh, I can, I can sit at this desk and read all day. Like, basically being an uber nerd. Oh. <laughs> Looking back, I should have done more PE, really, because it, it, it instilled some terrible habits in me, but I did have fun at the time. More collector coins? I'm not even really sure what you use those for. Like, I would like to be a little bit more physically active than I am, if I'm honest. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Can I unlock it again? Oh, difficulty two. This is gonna... Mm, I might wait for the key for that one. It might be something important. Is there a Medusa anywhere? Sorry, Medusa. Medusa. <laughs> Whatever he pronounced it as. I don't know. I'm bad at pronouncing things in other languages. I'm really genuinely bad at it. It's because I never really paid attention in any language class. Medusa took me a while, I think. Like, um, I remember the, the, I was quite good at French. I was approaching fluency in French class. But then, because I left, uh, you know, school, or finished school, I didn't leave school, but, you know, finished with secondary school, and that didn't take French in any college classes or anything, it just kind of faded away from my brain, like... Like, bread in the rain, you know? Just really, really just left me um, entirely. Um, but the thing I was always really, really bad at with French was pronunciation. I always used to score quite badly in um, oral exams. Lost in time, exactly. <laughs> More poetic than bread in rain, definitely. <laughs> Is there a more, is there a less appealing food than wet bread? Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about wet bread. Um, but yeah, I was always terrible at, at oral exams. I used to, I think I didn't go to one of my midterm oral exams in, uh, in French because I was embarrassed that I couldn't speak it with the accent. I'm fluent in French, but an idiot with my actual language is English. I think that's, like, it's like that, that trope. I love bread and rain as an image, though. <laughs> like, um, what's that, um... Oh, I've completely forgotten what I was about to say. Oh yeah, there's a trope where anytime you see somebody preface an image in uh, 
uh, preface a message, I should say, on Reddit or Twitter or whatever with saying, oh, sorry, English is my second language, so forgive any mistakes. They will then type as eloquently as any 18th century nobleman. <laughs> like, they will, it will be incredibly eloquent, whatever you're about to read. And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm not speaking the Queen's English, but like, <laughs> forgive me any trespasses against your beautiful language. Anyway. Un oh, fuck it, unlock this as well. Fragments of ember, not really that useful. A key with an, uh, an earth symbol. Hang on, where's that? Inventory. Where is that key? Key with an occult symbol for Earth. Huh. The replies are always like, haha, it okay. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, I I can't. I, my typing has gotten worse. My grammar has gotten worse since leaving school. Basically, I went into a deep, deep depression and stopped reading as much. And it turns out that was all that was keeping my eloquency alive. <laughs> like, I never really paid attention in English class. I just was sort of literate. And that was enough to get through English class in secondary school. Once I stopped reading every day, uh, I became an idiot. It was like that um, episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets a crayon in his brain. And, <laughs> you know, at the end he takes it out and he's back to himself again. That was reading for me. What's your favorite fiction book? Hmm. What is my favorite fiction book? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of just looking over at my bookshelf to see what I've read recently. My favorite, actually, my favorite book that I've read in the last few years is probably *The Name of the Wind* by Patrick Rothfuss, which is a fantasy novel. I really liked um, a book I read recently that I'd really recommend is *The Yiddish Policeman's Union*, which is not some. I've been trying to stretch out now that I'm back into reading a little bit. I've been trying to stretch out my horizons a bit and read something other than fucking epic fantasy. <laughs> Right. So I read um, The Yiddish Policeman's Union by, um, uh, what's his name, Michael Shabon, and I really liked that. It's about an alternate history where, instead of Israel, all of the Jews after World War II were um, rounded up and sent to Alaska instead to form their own little city. And it's been kind of annexed by, by, the, by the Americans into the, this little, like, Jewish quarter. And it's about the local policemen in that city. And it's kind of like a noir. It's quite good. I liked it. I'd give it like an eight. <laughs> anyway. Um, I remember as a kid, I really liked... Um, this is an obscure book, I'm pretty sure. Um, I I liked The Chosen by Ricardo Pinto. I think it's a really good book. But it's been ages since I read it. But I would have said that as a kid. And the other one, the last book I'll mention, the last one that I, I always recommend is um, The Age of Misrule by Mark Chadbourne which is very, very good. And actually got me a little bit more into my own kind of mythology, like um, Irish mythology, basically. Um, because it's it's a book about... It's, it's, it's kind of like a modern fantasy novel, I guess you'd call it, where one day in like 1999, whenever the book was written, um, all technology stops working. Everything goes... Like everything made after like the Middle Ages stops working. And then sort of Celtic monsters and gods and deities kind of come back into the world and it's how people react to it. It's very good. Oh no, cat shedding season has begun. There'll be so much hair. Oh no. I just rubbed the cat quite violently really with one of those rubber ribbed gloves for brushing and I legit had a handful of hair. It's like my guinea pigs. Actually, my guinea pig is sitting there looking at me. I think she might want to come up. I'll go get a guinea pig. But um, everything in my house is covered in guinea pig fluff. I think it might be guinea pig fluff season as well. I remember I bought the guinea pigs to the vet recently and uh, uh, I had them just, I had pebble the guinea pig just in my hands like this in the car as we were driving. I was just like, oh, driving out to the vet. And uh, my mum, who was driving me out because she was just going that way anyway, she looked over and went, oh my God, the hair, it's everywhere. Please don't get that all over my car. And I looked down and I was covered in white fluff. Anyway, I'll get a guinea pig. <laughs> Hello, Pebble. You okay? You want to be soothed? You want to be soothed? Oh. Good girl. There you are. Pig. Hello, pig. Oh, sorry. You okay? Look, it's you. Look. It's you. I don't think she cares. <laughs> oh, look at her hand. Okay, she looks kind of sleepy. I'll put her down. <laughs> Do you want to go on the desk? 
Good enough. Good girl. There you go. And there you go. They like sleeping by my desk because I think it's warm for them. <laughs> have you ever cleaned your PC? No, I have not. <laughs> it seems to be running completely fine, but I really, really, really should. Um, because there's probably a lot of guinea pig hair in it, if I'm honest. I, it's something I always put off. I really, really should, though, you're right. <laughs> I hate cat shedding season because I have to clean up my computer thoroughly and often. <laughs> anyway, let's play the game. More golden elixir? I can't even remember what these do. Medusa anywhere? I'd love one of these libraries, by the way. Ooh, a secret book? Atreus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Hmm. Guinea pig hair could cause a short or even a fire. I uh, recently discovered that you're supposed to clean out the lint trap in dryers. <laughs> kind of makes me sound like a seven-year-old, but um, I was like, oh, why isn't my dryer running properly? Why is my dryer so bad now? It used to it used to dry everything really efficiently in like 45 minutes. Now it takes like an hour and a half to get anything dry. What's up with my dryer? And then I pulled out the fucking lint trap and it was like a fucking cat was in there. I was like, oh, that's that's probably real bad and could clean out a, a, a thing. <laughs> like, that could, that, could, that could basically burn my house down. I really should have done that more. One, two, three. Am I back? I think I'm back. Yeah, my microphone disconnected itself. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was rubbing a pig and bumped the wire on my microphone. That's what happened there. My guinea pig came over to me and like bit the, the little bed fabric by my arm. And so I rubbed her head and now she's gone back to sleep. But it did bump the microphone out of the way. <laughs> game sound was gone too. I think it's because my game sound is filtered through my microphone, which is... um. I mean, it's a system. <laughs> two pages out of an old encyclopedia. I have five guinea pigs? Amazing. I have two. One is somewhere. I don't know where. Somewhere. Probably in the other room. I think she was sleeping in her hay. It's a system. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I have my, um, my headphones plugged into the, plugged into the microphone so I can have monitor. You know, like a proper professional streamer where I have monitor. Anyway, looking for a Medusa. <laughs> Oh, what are their names? My guinea pig's names are Pebble, which is the white pig you just saw. I just bumped my fucking microphone again. Hopefully that doesn't do anything bad. And Frodo, who is the, the black and tan pig. Oh, black and tan. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, those are their names. Oh, hello. What are your pig's names? I remember I went, the last time I went for a, a haircut, I was holding a bag of hay because oh, I just come from the shop. Oh, here we go. Is there a Medusa here? Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. There's a lot of rooms but with paintings, my friend. Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? A Medusa. Okay, look for a Medusa. But um, maybe I'll just say that from now on. I'll just call it Medusa and just get weird looks. <laughs> Is that a Medusa? No, that's a Jesus. Gorgon supposedly had wings. I don't know anything about Gorgon's anything, to be honest. The character you're playing reminds me of John Constantine. The only thing I know about John Constantine is I watched about half of the Keanu Reeves movie when I was a kid. I think the second half of it, because it was on TV. I know nothing else about him. I know there's a TV show recently, and that he was a comic book character. I don't know anything about Constantine, though. Je Gorgons are generally described as winged human females with living venomous snakes in place of hair. Mood. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Medusa? It's just lots of pictures of old Jeezy. I don't see a Medusa anywhere. What was I saying? Oh yeah, last time I went for a haircut, the um, the hairdresser saw that I was carrying a bag of hay and then loudly announced, Oh my god, sit down right away. I have six guinea pigs and two dwarf rabbits. I want to talk to you about guinea pigs. And I was like, okay, cool. This is my haircut now. So she would, um, she would do what I do, right? Which is, you know how infuriatingly for some... Oh, there's a Medusa! Sorry. <laughs> oh, and I know that painting as well. I like that painting a lot. Um, 
it does what I do, which is like this, where I'll just stop playing the game and just talk about guinea pigs or whatever's going on. Um, she was doing that with my haircut. It took about 40 minutes. Like, it was like a 20 minute haircut that took twice as long because she'd like put down the scissors, put her hands on my shoulder and go, oh, and the guinea pigs did this thing the other day. And I'd go, okay. <laughs> anyway, Medusa. Oh, she looks so sad. Is she missing her eyes? At least you're not checking every painting like I did for an hour. Got to find out what mother was trying Bebo, to do, with do not eat the bourbon creams. I'm pretty sure they are the been gone off for like a month. A hero armed with a sword. TOS. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. TOS. And the last one holding a shield. Is I'll that TOS? On it. Uh, All the I don't know if asses are TOS. Scene. I know penises must be. The right? devils are about to face the beast. It's art. Let's give them a helping hand. I was not paying attention even a little bit to what he was saying there. I was distracted by the penises. Um, fuck. <laughs> T-O-S. Uh, leave that for a second. Uh, will he tell me again? I know this legend. Erudition. One. Rotate the statuette. Do, I, do they just have to be all looking at each other, maybe? In Greek mythology, anyone who looked into the eyes of the Medusa turned to stone. So the monster's statue must be turned towards someone who could protect their eyes. Oh. It can only be the hero holding the shield. Well, that's how it happened, isn't it, in the myth? It was, um, it was him. Uh, he, he like, hang on, what, what do I say? It was a bronze polished shield, and he, like, holds it up to her, and she sees her own reflection and turns to stone. Isn't the... I, I think this might be a modern retelling of Medusa, but isn't the plot of the Medusa story kind of grim? Like, she got sexually assaulted or something and then turned into a snake. Like, it's a, it's quite sad and <laughs> bad, really. Although I think that, again, that might be a modern version. What's the plot of the game? Secret Society. We're looking for our mum. That's the vague outline of the thing. Secret Society. Secret Island. Victim who turns into a criminal, basically. Um, so, yeah. Mum is basically Agatha Christie, Indiana Jones. Lost on this uh, secret aristocrats island we've been drawn here to find out where she is and washington and napoleon are also here for some reason that's kind of the gist of where i'm at stand back okay do, can i rotate these statues or are these just you know there rotate the statuette that's probably fine yeah i just need to turn the statue towards him and that'll be good rotate it towards the shield oh, she looks so sad is that it I think that might be it. What am I? What am I taking out? The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Oh, Just I had one of these books as a kid. I think, although I think that was my brother's, and I only skimmed through it. French on the left-hand page, and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Uh, why is Napoleon here? Is the Saint Helena? I think it's an English island. I think. I think he's just been invited here for a stay. I don't really know. Read the page in French. I don't know Latin. And I also don't... I can read bits and pieces of French still. I can't fucking speak it to save my life. But I can read bits of it. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. Oh. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Based? Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra... The Gorgons. Well, luckily, ah, we have fan art to make them all the... sex icons now. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his No weapon matter what mythical Medusa. creature there is, somebody will find it hot. Oh, the c hero with the sword brandishes his weapon. Okay. So, sword pointing towards Medusa, Medusa looking at shield, and then, uh, what was the other penis boy? So this is Bell. Bell Lantern maybe fucking running away? I don't know. <laughs> Turn towards Medusa, please. Was that it? It saved. And now we just need to fucking brute force it here, right? Can I look at these paintings? Which one was the um yeah, this painting. What is this painting called again? Because I recognize this painting. And I like it. I've seen it lots before. Anyway, <laughs> the Griffins and the Witcher are hot. It's not up for debate. The show or the games? Because I don't remember. I, I've not seen season two of The Witcher. One second, I will look it up. 
Witcher Griffins. <laughs> I mean, just very sort of muscular lion hawks, I guess, is what you describe those as. Fair enough. I don't really know anything about mythology, is the problem. Uh, rotate the statue. He would be ill. I'm going to go with my own logic here. This is going to get me killed. He would be like... Just admire the marble penis for a while. He will be turning his light towards the shield so that he'll have light on the shield to reflect her image. That sort of makes sense, right? If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Hmm. Just admire the marble penis for a while and other things you can put in your Tinder bio. I wish. Um. Oh, who are you? A painting with no name. Hmm. That must be the host, maybe? Maybe? I don't recognize that one. Is it just hounds beating up a wolf? It looks like a very spindly wolf. It looks more like a coyote or something. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't think I've ever said that word out loud. Coyote? Coyote? What is a coyote again? <laughs> it's a dog thing, right? Uh, are you facing her? Toward the hero? No. You must be facing her. Towards the Medusa. Already done it. Think about the configuration. I might need to, uh... Might need to eat some juice. There we go. <laughs> um, handle the mechanism. I, I bet you'd like to. Um, I mean, it is a. Ch I mean, it is literally a chiseled ass. I guess. Think about the configuration. Think. Think about it hard. Let's think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can the shield be for? To protect its holder? <laughs> Why not? But in that case. What's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light. That's what I the said. Lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea. I but feel like shot. I should have that overlay up on my face where it's just like the maths equations, like fading in and going over my head and like fading off into the, dis the distance. <laughs> so this one needs to be facing the sword? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> cool. Lovely. Secret bookshelf? I when I was a kid, I so wanted to do, have a secret bookshelf. It was uh, probably oh, fireplace is good too. But I I so wanted one. I thought it would be the coolest thing ever. Like a rotating wall. I have no idea what I'd actually do with it. Ah, Jesus! For Fuck Pete's me. sake, Emily, you scared the pants off. I used. Me. Don't ever do that again. Harsh your language with him. my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Your teeth are a bit. Looks like they've been filed almost. Um. Hmm. Answer with a question. How are you keeping that dress off? Do you have that, um, apparently this is a thing. Apparently there are some dresses that require double-sided tape to stay up. I learned this recently. So maybe it's one of those. Or maybe it's just very, very stiff. It's just there's no, there's no straps. Anyway, um, I'll just tell her. She seems, does she seem trustworthy? I don't know, we'll find out. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. How did you get here? Something must have attracted I vouch for her, that. so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? 
My, I've heard curious. corsets are unbelievably irritating guess. to wear and make people Go pass out a lot. Impress me. So she can't be particularly comfortable. Like you know, like any time there is a we watch a period drama or anything set in the past, right? My girlfriend will inevitably, if somebody's wearing a corset, point at it and tell me uh, stories about how she's seen in interviews with like fashion designers and uh, costume designers for movies say that any corset on cinema is probably laced about one fifth as tight as historical corsets and every actress always goes like I can barely breathe and they're like I'm loose I'm basically not even tying this like this is why fainting chairs existed people would basically just pass out because they couldn't breathe like that scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where she like faints and goes over the edge I like that movie <laughs> anyway um oh I think she's investigating Mortimer too I think my mum, women's organs were squished in real life. Yeah, it's like the equivalent of the Chinese foot thing, but for organs. It's not pleasant, I imagine. <laughs> she has to investigate Mortimer. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this I guess that's time. why they were all on cocaine now, all the time here, in the Victorian era, right? Useful. Look around on Just your to keep side. them up. <laughs> I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest... You must be cold. Your back yeah. must be freezing in that. At your service, madam. Don't blame them, exactly. Like, her back must be really cold. This is a big house and it must be a nightmare to keep warm. I know there's a fireplace in every house, in every room, but still. If you're wearing a tightly laced corset and take it off, you can sort of feel everything settling back. It's not as uncomfortable as it sounds, though. I mean, I I tend to wear... I don't like loose-fitting clothes. If I'm in pyjamas for too long, I start to feel icky, and I don't like it. I've mentioned this before. I have a dressing gown, but I can only wear it for a certain amount of time before I'm like, ugh, and have to take it off. I like being... I like being held in by my clothes, if that makes sense. I don't have any uh, trousers that aren't, like, skin-tight. I don't, you know, I, I, I like that sort of thing. So I could see how people would be into it, maybe. It does sound bad. Hello, Pixel Coin. Welcome. Uh, is that a marble goat? I love him. I'd like a marble goat. I like goats in general. I think goats are sweet. I also enjoy tightly laced boots. Makes you feel safe and protected. Exactly. I bought some hiking boots as my everyday wear. I have, like, some walking, hiking boots things. And I laced them probably too tightly because I, I just like that. If, honestly, if I could, if it was socially, I've mentioned this about capes before, like I'd wear a cloak or something, but um, I think if I, if I had my way and it was socially acceptable, or if the apocalypse happened, I don't know if I'd wear shoes. I don't know if I'd wear shoes or socks. Oh, thank you for the bits. That's unbelievably kind of you. Not necessary, but extremely kind. Thank you. Um, just wrap me up. I don't care. I don't think I'd wear shoes. I'm not wearing shoes right now. I don't wear shoes in my garden. I don't wear socks in my garden. I basically go full on hobbit mode in the summer and I only wear shoes begrudgingly outside. Um, I think I'd just like to do that. I'd like to just go hobbit mode, wear a little cloak, have my little necklace and just go out and bare feet and just live like that. I, I think that's very appealing to me for whatever reason. Anyway. What am I picking up here? More collector coins. Am I just stealing from these cases? An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing mm. special. The library at Buckingham has three. Oh, well then. Um. Oh, how did Buckingham get them? How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a The thief? British do Certainly steal not. a lot of artifacts. Never my so <laughs> I mean, have you seen what's in the British Museum? Tight boots, small spaces, weighted blankets, smother me at this point, I guess. I don't know. I go back and forth. The only way I can sleep is the two polar opposites, right? I can either if I'm completely held in by like a blanket, then sometimes that's nice, and sometimes I just don't use a blanket at all. It's great. <laughs> Like, I, no in between. Sometimes I'm never, like, properly covered. I'm always either just completely out to the elements or, you know, completely hunkered in like a little goblin. You should get one of those Victorian-era nightshirts and one of those very long caps. I actually said I might do that. 
one second. The nightcap, because I've been I've been a candle boy recently. Um, I got into candles. I have a scented candle on my nightstand now, which I never thought that would happen. But um, one second, nightcap. I thought it would be fun to get one of these. <laughs> oh, a nightcap is also a drink. I forgot about that when searching. Uh, yeah, one of these. <laughs> One of these things, you know, whole, I, I, I actually looked up on Amazon, I can tell you, I looked up on Amazon, one of those little candle holders that you put one of the stick candles in, and it has the little handle so you can carry it around, because I guess I like the idea of being, like, dressing like Scrooge. I will say, I watched Muppets Christmas Carol again for Christmas recently, I, I think Scrooge dresses really cool in that. Michael Caine looks good in that movie. <laughs> I think I'd like to dress like that if I could. Like, just black Victor black on black on black Victorian suit and then a nightcap. I'd like it. I remember I was a cashier at Ikea, and a customer bought loads of boxes. I looked down to scan something. They had no shoes on, but their feet were pitch black from the dirt on the floor. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, although, my girlfriend has reacted a similar way when I... I... Like I said, I don't wear shoes in the summer because I'll, I'll go out to the garden with my guinea pigs and let them roam around and graze and so I don't have to cut the grass, basically. Um, I'll let them chop down the grass a little bit. But um, I'll just walk around with them or sit down in the grass and stuff cross-legged with bare feet, like some sort of hippie. And uh, I'll come in and I'll like put my feet on the couch or whatever. And my girlfriend, when we moved in together, was like, what the f fuck are you doing you're the s and i went what what's happened and my uh my girlfriend said the soles of your feet are black what the fuck are you doing putting your feet on the couch and i was like oh sorry i've i've, I've literally never looked at the soles of my feet i think anyway you need this what is this oh that's horrible looking that's really horrible a hand candle holder Ooh. There's something very creepy about that, and I can't quite put my finger on what. Anyway, back to the game, babe. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Some... Oh, is this the Golden Fleece from that movie? Jason and the Argonauts. Which I really like. With the animatronic... Not animatronic. You know, the stop-motion skeletons. That incredibly cool scene. A Golden Fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Uh... Do you want to use the hide? Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And oh, flattery charmer? Boorishness. Yeah, that wasn't very smooth, to be honest. Um, bonus points if you manage to pry the candle out of it and use it for fun. Oh, God. Uh, I'll go around the other side so I can inspect more things. What exactly are we searching for? Oh, I can't do this. Fuck. I'm not smart enough or awake enough, I guess, is what this is. Oh, it's the thinker. The thinker. Oh, I had a frame drop there. Any cool books? Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Oh, that's nice. I don't recognize this at all. Oh, hello, uh, Emmy. Welcome. <laughs> Happy Friday. Oh, it was yes, my birthday I yesterday. Am. I think... Old what I'm about that. to say is going to be up. incredibly sad, right? It's go it's going to Just sound unbelievably Caesar's sad, but I swear to God that it's not, right? <laughs> and that I don't care. Hang on, I'll finish this. Um, try on the crown? Obviously try on the crown. Don't put your grubby fat fingers on it. Fuck you, Probably my fingers that. are... Yeah, okay. <laughs> At least put on some gloves. I'm sorry. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave Mars. I wish I had slim fingers. Oh, it would God, make my piano amateur. playing better. Maybe my fingers are kind of grubby love and, and, and sausagey. Like I don't really like Tell them. Me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have my brother has like alien hands. His fingers are about that long we'll and like spindly. It means he can hit chords <laughs> no, on guitar that nobody else you. can. Basically. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. Um. I'm ninety nine percent sure. That my parents forgot my birthday. <laughs> Again, I swear to God, I don't care at all. But I was like, I, I, I basically like timed it. I was like, okay, I'm not going to remind anybody who knows what my birthday is. Because I don't celebrate it. And I don't really make anything of it. And I don't have it on any social media stuff. So nobody gets reminders. And I was like, 
is anybody going to actually remember? This? And I was like, surely my parents at least will remember. And I looked at my phone and was like, nothing. <laughs> oh, God. So now, basically, I can hold that over their head forever if it ever comes up. <laughs> if I ever... Oh, my God, that's tragic. <laughs> if I ever need anything, that's coming out. <laughs> it's going to be great. Like, at some point, if I need a favor for something, or if I, I don't know, if, like, my boiler breaks or something, and I'm like, hey, Dad, are you doing anything? Oh, I'm busy. Uh, Dad, when's my birthday? <laughs> and then watch his mind race. <laughs> oh, is this, um, Cortana from The you Good Life? You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm oh, I hope we do sword fighting at some point. Tarantula hens, exactly. I kind of like tarantula paws. They're quite cute. Uh, sort of Joan of Arc, King Arthur. Uh, King Arthur. It looks this is mm, a little guilt goes along the way. Arthur's sword. Surely, I've always dreamt surely of drawing jo it from the stone. Is Joan of Arc's sword oh, famous? Sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place. Call them up on the twenty fourth next month and act as if it's your birthday. <laughs> Thing is, is that I can't do that because they know I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like. That might backfire, because they'll be like, you don't celebrate your birthday, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, it's my dad's birthday soon. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a thing then. <laughs> my dad always forgets my birth date. Sometimes he'll pick up my prescription and I always get a call. <laughs> I don't think, I, I'm confident that my dad has never known my birthday. I'm pretty sure. I don't think my dad knows how old I am. Or my brother. See, my brother's easier because he was born in 2000, so it's very, very easy to calculate. When you're born in, like, the late 90s, you have to do a tiny bit of arithmetic. And my dad just goes, eh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Mid-twenties, something like that. <laughs> Amber. Why'd you say it so creepily, you weirdo? Amber. Here's something interesting. I hate her Amber hair. I've only just realized what was putting me off about her. Lady. It's her hair. I hate it. That sort of like Victorian of bouffant, I really don't like it. Old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Why not? He's, he's assume, assume Mortimer is immortal. <laughs> is he immortal? We're not, she's gonna laugh at us if we do this. Um. Assume theft. Probably, but that doesn't mean they weren't stolen. But Mortimer's signature, it Hello, looks big. genuine. Oh, Maybe she's lifting a little paw at me. Ones and Hello, signed his name instead. These documents Immortimer. are intriguing. <laughs> but do you I was really born in 1990 and he still gets there. Attention here. I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? What's your hot take? I've been on Twitter this morning. There's a fuck ton of hot takes today. Oh, Jesus. Um, what? How has it all been acquired? How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. They're, he's an aristocrat, right? He's a lord. They're all about intergenerational wealth. Jesus was born. That's why I we need wealth why my taxes. Didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. Get sixties labor in on this. Down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Mortimer's a crypto or miner. She Burn all the thirty eighties. It's disturbing. Run you through it with a magnet. To the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Okay, cool. Last year in May, it was my dog's birthday, and my dad thought it was mine. <laughs> he wished me happy birthday, and for the first hour or two, we all pretended just to make the joke go longer. Oh, no. No. Well, at least he meant well, I guess. I don't know. I guess... I don't think we... When did I... When would we celebrate the pigs' birthdays? I guess their adoption date? When did I adopt the pigs? I can't remember. I'm sure I have it in my calendar somewhere. Actually, yes, I'm pretty sure. Because I have a picture of them. Hang on, I will show this to the camera. I have a picture of them from the day we adopted them. And they're incredibly small. But I'm sure the date on that picture will tell me what date we adopted them, right? Uh, I have a... Oh, God, I need to stop this. I have a, an album in my gallery on my phone called Pig Children, where I sort all the pig photos. There was 233 images in this. Fucking hell. There we go. 
don't know if you can even see this. That's them. <laughs> That's them when they were very, 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 very small. They're only, they're about a year and a half old now, I think. Something like that. Maybe two. <laughs> there we go. They're only slightly bigger now, to be honest. Anyway, where are we going now? A quill? What is that you found? A cameo pendant. I don't know what a cameo is. My gosh. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunge for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is Maybe about. Maybe it does. No. She's an immortal too. We just met Louis. Oh, I, I like forgot you. to go back to the but game. I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm so weak. I don't. I need honey. Royal jelly, whatever it's called. Um. Oh fuck. Um. Oh wait, free? It's free because reduced by three. That's amazing. Um, because I don't want. <laughs> what accent was that? He's um. He's doing an. Amer he's meant to be French, but he's an American for some reason. Because I don't want any harm to come to you. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you we barely know each other. That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, I the golden order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. Succeeded. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. I don't that. really know any nothing French cheeses, if I'm Damn honest. It, Emily, I'm only Brie? trying to help you. I've never had Brie. need to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! Never had Cam and Barry either. where I'm weak, haven't you? What? Oh, fuck, what was it? Uh... Uh... uh, uh. What was she weak in? We discovered we just discovered like a weakness, but I wasn't paying attention. Was it? A, a, uh, I'm sorry, but what a wreck! It's, I, I at the risk of sounding like the creepiest person in the world, it's slightly distracting. <laughs> like the game is showing it off to a, an absurd degree, I would say, <laughs> and the fact that like it's so low cut in the back as well. Like I'm shocked it's staying up. Anyway, um, a weakness in questioning, subterfuges, politics. I mean, she's not really my type, which is helping. Um, not really wearing any, anything on her back at all, yeah. Hmm. The only person in this, uh, as a straight woman, I agree, it's distracting. Like, um, the only person I'm into in this game so far is that woman that my mum allegedly tortured. <laughs> with the cool hair. The, the, you know, the cool hair. The one with the, the, the like, shaved side head that I used to go for for a bit. Before I realized it looked very silly on me. Um, I'm going to have to fucking analyze her. Cheddar Red Leicester. Those are pretty much the only cheeses. <laughs> Elizabeth Adams. Is that her name? <laughs> oh, yes, it was Elizabeth. She's John Adams' daughter, I think. Yes, John Adams' daughter. Maybe she's a real person as well. I don't know. <gasps> My guinea pig just yawned. Sorry. Stream is on pause for a second while I congratulate her. Good yawn. Good yawn. Her eyes are closed now. Good. Um, analyze Emily's character. Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty Psychology. talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own. We're still the same life. with the cat. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Oh, he's a redditor. Mm -hmm. Yes, you the may dog, not it. so much. I think every I pet owner, whenever they stretch or yawn, has to by law say, "Oh, I'm good stretch," or "Well done, good stretch." With anyone at this time. Big stretch. Do you understand? Nope. Um, I think it's either she prefers to work alone, or she likes to lead in her investigations herself. I think probably work alone from just the vibe she gives off, right? Or does she like to be in charge? I think she's basically just been irritated by, by me. Like, she's been giving me orders, but begrudgingly. So I think she prefers to work alone. I'm going to just go on my own thing here. Yes, she prefers to work alone. Yes. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken oh, fuck. about me. 
I already have a work partner. God damn it, really? I, I didn't guess that at all. Is. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Who's is your teammate? Is there a chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe The me. hair is so come distracting. On. I hate Don't the hair. Now that you come this far. Imagine how long you know it takes to do I'll that hair. You talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> um... Is it George Washington? They were talking quite closely. Is it Washington? Remember how she was affected by the cameo? So true, our dog doesn't leave our side, so we're used to it. But the cat were like, you're so good, well done. It's always, like, Pebble, the guinea pig I have on my desk right now, is usually, I mean, we, we call her the bitchy pig. She's, she's the angry pig who doesn't really like things. She's the one who sort of just like squeaks in anger at us all the time. Um, yesterday, my girlfriend put... I was playing uh, a game or something. Yesterday, my girlfriend, she came up on the couch and just sat there by her feet and cuddled up for like 45 minutes. And we were like, oh, it's happening. <laughs> if Frodo does that, we're like, oh, good girl. But when Pebble does it, it's like, oh my God, it's a miracle. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, you can. I can see by the levels that you can. I need to get a new wire, is the problem. Because you know what I did? Mutey bike, you put mute. God damn it. My, um, my, uh, wire on my, uh, microphone, I bent it as I was taking it out of the box when the microphone came. So it's always been a little bit weird. So it works fine. It's just, like, the, the tip of it is slightly bent where it plugs in. It's just a USB-C, I think. And uh, so I need to get a new one, I think. It's very annoying. Anyway, game is still up. That was Pebble sitting there for like 45 minutes by her feet. Um, fuck it, it's a man. We have three blunders left, it'll be all right. It's a man. And it's a member of the Order. That makes sense, that it would be a member of the Golden Order, or their secret cult. I think it might be, we need this with the thing on the mouth. Yeah, just like tape on the mouth. Although that could get used in a lewd way. Although so could the blindfold one. Yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> Actually, think it's talking of emotes. I need to do another couple of emotes. I have another few slots open. I need to do, um... Like, I was thinking of doing one that... Because uh, I constantly seem to be saying I'm amazing at this and then fuck everything up. I need to get one that says that. Um... It's a member of the Order? Her old husband. Was divorce even... Was divorce even, like, publicly spoken about in this year? Hmm. Unfortunately, fuck me, Jesus will not be allowed, I guess. I, I, mm, I remember reading a page of, like, what to, what to keep in mind when you're making your emotes, and it was basically just nothing with any bodily fluids, no excess profanity. And I was like, fair enough. They banned all of those emotes that had gasm at the end of it, so I can't, like, make a... What's it called? I don't know how to pronounce this word. I've only seen it written down. Is it Ahigao? <laughs> I can't make that face in, a, in an emote, apparently. It was specified by Twitch. I don't even know 100% what that is. Anyway, a member of the Order. Dre, I guess. Ugh. Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order, other than ourselves, are your mother and Mr. Washington. The yeah, it's probably Washington. Gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. 
Incidentally, you oh, must have noticed how inefficiently our order communicates internationally. Mm, it's... Oh, I only have two left. It's... It's Monty Python's Flying Circus. It's my mum? No, it's not my mum. Her mum? Are we twinsies? <laughs> Do you hang out with your mum too? <laughs> um, sister, maybe? Oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know at all. I might need to use the fucking goo again. How much is this? Etiquette locked. I can't even use the goo. Oh, no. Um... I can't eat my goo in, I hope in, in canon, I'm just eating this fucking goo with a teaspoon in front of her and like going, ah, and then answering whenever I use the goo. It's her sister? Your sister, she's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. Oh, fuck me, How yes. did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. Wait, I think I might have found a note that said that and forgot about it until right now. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. Achievement unlocked, suspicious mind. Emma, my twin sister. Oh, a twin. And her name is Emma. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes, you can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day we decided to play along. Do you think twins ever do that? Just like the same. combine yeah, themselves into one entity. I don't mean physically, Emma. but like Emily Hills, you know, the woman pretend to be exists. each other. Clever, but yeah, isn't like it complicated? this. Complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no. It'd be good for spying, right? World. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was that meant to That can't be sustainable. Oh, we she are twin. Oh, are we twinsies, Dre? Five minutes ago, so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem. She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my. Sister. I like my sleeves. Instead, a sailor. You should blame Martha is dead. Home. I think somebody Maybe has recommended that before to me. Martha is dead. I don't so, know what it is. <laughs> my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Have they hooked up? Maybe their disappearance Good is for them. linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now, I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, my Amy, son is really irritating. I hate my sister. Do you want to just be like? Or you, you know, a, a good couple together. Don't worry. <laughs> sure, we'll ignore safety. them. It's time to leave. Why? Your twin dies and you pretend to be her. I... Oh, so like, almost like Mad Men, but like with a twin. <laughs> God, that would be a nightmare. Also, so, I, I don't do want to do that. I, I think I'm pretty tied to my own identity. Fun by your side. Maybe Same if here. I committed a crime big enough. God, it must be so uncomfortable to walk around in that outfit. I would constantly be tripping over the skirts. That's the one oh, with the cool she's hair. Drinking too much again. Louis, I need to and talk cool to you tattoos. Right now. She's just cooler. Evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this the is eyes a bit worrying. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. All right, I'll be fine. For you in your room, but don't be late. I'll probably end up being late. I still think and she might be evil. A certain between us. Louis, oh, shut we up. We need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? I mean, obviously follow Elizabeth. Look how much cooler she is than Emily. She's so much cooler. Look at her. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. What am I gonna do? Look at her with a fucking black Thank eye. You. Oh, sorry. On, I got something else on. Turn. Like, that would make me evil too, I think. Hello. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Up my Listen desk? to me, damn it. My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last Plus, night. Okay. I went out uh, to walk along the cliff. Flash. 
Are you taking a pig? Put me in here, man. You're there. What, here? Mm-hmm. Right, I just want to state that I didn't forget his birthday. I thought <laughs> it was the 27th or the 28th. I forgot it was the 24th. So you forgot? <laughs> but I remembered it was in February. <laughs> and at the end of February. Are you taking a pig? Give me a pig. Fine. Here. <laughs> his family forgot I was a pig. <laughs> after today I think I'm going to order one after the stream maybe I can you know what I can shift the microphone a little bit so I'm not bumping into it that might be better yeah there we go <laughs> fine good um that was very funny I can never remember if my girlfriend's birthday is the 26th or 27th of September we've been together for nine years <laughs> I need to um I need to figure out when my mum's birthday is I'm never I'm never I never remember. I can't remember if it's the 13th or the 15th or the 16th of October. It's somewhere in that range. You know what, after the stream? I will order a new cable for the microphone, because Jesus. <laughs> I played Elder Ring on one of those fancy new Xboxes. It's fun. I need to buy a console at some point. I don't have one. And I, I don't have any console. In the oh, I forgot we were in the middle of a cutscene. Right sure Are you sure you don't want to change, by the way? My mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? That's yes, a lot of scares. It looks like she's been um, you just said she was hit by lightning away, a little right? bit. In the middle of the night. You know where you get those it's really cool scares if you get exactly hit by lightning? Well Listen, I'm telling you, it was her. Write another note. Order a new cable, you moron. <laughs> Mightn't be necessary, to be honest. Ah, fuck, validate. No, validate. Fuck. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I, well, that got I didn't failed. Any noise, and then she was gone. Have you Who's she, Drea Fedora? <laughs> Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Okay. Calm yes. down, love. You're hysterical. I something to calm me down. This was back in those times. I can say that, right? I can slap her and say, stop being hysterical. <laughs> that always works, I'm sure. Um... Yeah, one can, I'll sure. drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? I just had some sweet potato crisps and kip corn. I don't know what kip corn is. Sweet potato crisps are weird, but kind of nice. I definitely prefer them in the form of chips, though. I don't like sweet potato in any form. From, I think it's gross. Frankly, it's disgusting. Rot gut? No, Louis. When I came here, it was in the hope yes, of your vibe, hope. <laughs> I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa. Yams are just improved potatoes? I don't know if I've ever eaten a yam. Is that a sweet Going potato? Is that like an American word for a sweet potato? I I realize I just like her because she has the coolest hair in yeah, the game, but you know, I'm going with this. Drink. Um yeah, fuck it. Go on. Man, I, yams are just I what they are. Easy for the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. My profile picture is me in a wig. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> the second one isn't any easier. So, do you what exactly are we drinking? Are we drinking like moonshine, basically? Tato is the evolution of potatoes. Of Tato are probably forever? the best what crisps, was she trying right? To cure you of, then? I've never the had crisps illness, that were she never better than Tato. Her. Maybe it's just my genes. I don't know. <laughs> Straight absinthe. Absinth. Uh. Nope. Together till the end. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish they are the best Chris. <laughs> I've never tried Northern Irish Tato. I've heard it's worse, and I'll never forgive them for destroying the Tato logo. I feel and making him dizzy. a weird little sleazy creep. <laughs> I don't like him. Tell me, tell me what my mother treated you. Never for. heard of she Tato. Is it just Irish? Them. It is just Irish. It is what? the national what Irish crisp. About? I would say. Silence. What? The voices. Oh, I'm getting drunk. The voices in my head. I'm Nottinghamshire. They speak to me, Louis. 
They've always told me what to do. I don't think they I know where Nottinghamshire is in Britain. Uh, what's the difference in logo? If you haven't experienced the 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 horror that is Northern Irish Tato. First of all, Tato is this. Like if I if I look up Tato, Tato is this crisp. This is if you say I would like some crisps in Ireland, they will hand you Tato's. If you if you say Tato is one of those words that's become genericized in um in you can get them in the World Food section in Morrison's. Well, um. I mean, it's right. We're right next to them, really. Is it world food? But, um, Tato, if you ask for Tato's, they'll give you any sort of crisps. It's a genericized term. It's, like, unbelievably famous. I even liked the Tato chocolate when that was out. It's A lot of people fucking hated it. But Tato has a Northern Irish, uh, Tato man is the, is the mascot. He's a, a creepy, slightly creepy man in a pinstripe suit with a, with a red jacket. But the Tato Man, Northern Ireland, is disgusting. I hate him. Look at that mascot. They turned my boy into that. They turned my boy into that. It's disturbing and awful and I hate him. Like They, came, they changed his little hat and took away his pinstripe trousers and made his head all weird. The jawline, he looks he looks like a freak of nature. Essentially the same thing to me. Again, it's probably just because I'm from Ireland. But this feels like this feels like a warm blanket. This is like pulling back that blanket to find a body. It's not good. Evil sibling Tato. <laughs> um looks like the guy from Adventure Capitalist. It does. I played that a little bit. Isn't Tato Park getting rebranded? It is, and that is honestly a criminal act, I think. Tato Park is getting rebranded from um from Tato Park to like some other brand. It's gonna be fucking Mattress Mick Land or whatever. I don't know, what else could it be? What other like iconic Irish brand Tenora Park or something like that? Cl Club Park. Might be like Club Orange or something. Because apparently that's only an Irish thing that I didn't know. I thought that was everywhere. I always thought of Club as being like nice Fanta. Like Fanta if it didn't suck. But um, apparently it's just a, it's just a, an Irish thing. It only exists here. Starbucks tax evasion wonderland, Apple land, where all of their corporate profits go to get embezzled. They may just make it its own park. That would be grim. I mean, it's Tato Park. If you don't know what Tato Park is, by the way, Tato Park is a safari park slash roller coaster park, um, branded around the fucking Tatos for no reason at all. Steve's Apple Farm. <laughs> like, look at that. It's no reason for that to be there, but it's it's called Tato Park. Anyway. Do you get walkers slash lays in England in, in Ireland? We get walkers. They're called walkers here. I didn't know, know that lays and walkers were the same thing until fairly recently. Looks magical. I was I I'm going to go there soon, definitely. Um just Irish Hershey's Park? I've never even heard of Hershey's Park. But anyway, um walkers are fine. I think my girlfriend prefers walkers actually. I think they're okay. They're they're fine. Baked walkers are pretty good. Like the the, the oven baked walkers, they're all right. But in general, I think I prefer potatoes. I like walkers. I uh, I don't know. They're fine. You know, I'm skipping around scenes like an idiot. There we go. They're so weak and greasy. <laughs> I thought they were the default crisp in America, by the way, aren't they? Like walk lays, I should say. Like, you get, like... I don't know what sun chips are, and I think Pringles are pretty big in America. They're okay here. You see Pringles occasionally, but they're are basically everywhere. But not nearly as many flavors. I remember going to uh, America and seeing pizza-flavored Pringles. And trying one, and feeling like I was going to be sick. <laughs> I really did not like them. There was a, It was a bit like Kit Kat in Japan, where there seemed to be about 50 different types of Pringles in America. I've only seen about three. We have like salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, sour cream and chive, and maybe barbecue, and that's it. <laughs> um, is she possessed? She's not possessed, Louis. This hasn't gone uh, supernatural yet. Uh, I hear Walker's crisps, and I just see Gary Lineker shags crisp meme. <laughs> I forgot that he did. Does he still do? Is he still the face of Walker's Gary Lineker? It's weird that they chose Gary Lineker. You know, football man. But, you know, I guess why not? There are Lay's in Germany as well. Where I'm from, we had three snack factories, so Lay's had a weaker hold on us. 
10 over PA. PA. What is PA? Pennsylvania? I'm going to say Pennsylvania, because I can't think of another state that begins with P. <laughs> yeah, it's Pennsylvania. Good. I brought back strawberry cheesecake and wasabi Kit Kat back from Japan. See, I'd like that. I'd like wasabi Kit Kat. Although I don't really like Kit Kats that much. The only pea state. <laughs> well, I've heard things about Florida. Is, this st is she stack raving mad? Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? Of course, Louis. This is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. She, her brain These was allegedly head, shocked into mush, so I can get this. Fact, dip a Kit Kat into tea, game changer. <laughs> I used to dip Jaffa cakes into tea at, at one point you in my life. The, the problem was you had about, I, I would say, one quarter of a second before they were ruined. Ever so you had to just go like, Tuk, and, and then the that result. was it. But they were amazing. It's impossible, Mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Maybe oh, it's shit. my mother's twin. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louie. Are you starting to believe me? That's no, they become the tea, exactly. Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're the still ghosts? talking to you? All the time. Despite everything... Back so to Harry Land for me. <laughs> I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island... Knowing that no one knows me. Why are you here I exactly? I here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. Hmm. Puerto Rico is a territory and doesn't count. I beg you. She was invited by home. Yeah, but why did she bother coming? Doesn't seem like she's having a good time. Um... I don't believe her, but I think she's gonna go. I think she's gonna stab me with something if I say that. So I'm just. I mean, look, she's written on the walls. I've only just noticed that. <laughs> like I've only just noticed that she scribbled on the walls. I shouldn't have come in here. Um. Sure, I believe her. Sure. Um. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Let's just keep drinking until you pass out and I quietly leave. I'm here, Elizabeth. Are you blind? I'm right here with you. Was that blood or just a torn and curtain? I do believe up there? you. Thank you, Louis. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. That has less credence when you've scribbled on the walls and torn off the wallpaper. And it looks like knocked a candelabra over. Like, I mean, <laughs> maybe there is supernatural my stuff God, in this game. Maybe she's right. Possible. Welcome to my world, little Louis. Welcome to my life. Advise her to escape from the island or advise her to stay here. I don't think she's having a good time, but also I think she's one of the more interesting characters. <laughs> this is my quandary. Like, in real life, I'd probably go get the fuck out go back home why are you why are you here at all as soon as you found out my mum was here why didn't you just turn around to go home but also i wanted to stick around so i can learn more about her although i i'm getting the feeling that it might be a moot point and maybe she's not able to leave the island we'll see um i wouldn't know what to go for here advise her to escape the island advise her to stay here I didn't, like, I would say leave the island, but it's going to go really badly for her. Fuck it, I'm going to say leave the island. Get away. Go ho, I don't know, stop drinking quite as much. Stay. <laughs> Advise her to stay here. Uh, maybe if she leaves the island, she's going to get, um, she's going to get shot or something. If she stays here, maybe at least she'll be safe in her room. She can talk to the ghosts. They seem friendly. Escape. I'm gonna say uh, fuck. I don't know. I'm gonna say escape. I'm gonna say escape. It's not the right option, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say escape. The game wants you to make her leave. Yeah. Oh well. I, I hope I'm not going to say leave right now because she's very drunk. Like she she can probably not stand right now. Elizabeth, the whole story stinks of death. 
That was if an I ominous you, noise that the game I just made. The moment you heard Dun. me speak about my mother. I don't know if she knows you're here, but if I had any doubt, I wouldn't take the risk. Yeah, you're right. I can't stay here another minute. I need to get the hell out of here. No. I need to find a boat and get I away. Mean, I'm don't, not done. Don't sail drunk, you idiot. Uh, I feel so dizzy. I feel like I've you made like a wrong my choice. Costume, don't you? That's rare. Well, what have you fed me? What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guess laudanum? is that you don't appreciate oh, alcohol with laudanum. Laudanum? What? You put laudanum That's in That's not going to affect drink? me very well. In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom. Oh, together. God damn it. I was lured in by the oh, hair. Man. I feel like puking. Fuck. <laughs> I really feel like shit. Yeah, I know. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. Okay, Remember getting back you? into it. <laughs> Don't touch me. Okay, Just clearly me. not. Never mind. If I get up, I'll fall. Oh no, it's doing um that train spotter on TikTok vision. She's, we're both going to drown Please. if we go off train spotting vibes. Leave everything to me. What's she gonna do to me? Ah! I fucking helped you! Just let go. Don't, like, punch her in the fucking chest or something! Oh, God! What just happened? She did the fucking Princess Bride on me! She did the fucking Iocane powder trick. That that absolute bastard. She fucking Iocane powdered me. I've resolved the enigma of the Medusa. I discovered Lord Mortimer's room where he hides his treasure. I found out that Emily was hiding something. Yeah. Um, I persuaded Emily to tell me her secret. I accepted to keep Elizabeth company. Um, yeah, okay. I wonder what would happen if you refused. I'd need to replay it. I did the same thing. <laughs> I mean, if we didn't get drunk and we just left, maybe we could have rejoined Emily? Or if we asked her to stay, I... Mm. See what happens, I guess. Oh, we dinged. That deserves two dings. Oh, game. <laughs> oh, I can get... I forgot this. I forgot this is an RPG. You put points in things. I have four available points. Uh... I want to get more stuff unlocked, basically. Level one, level one. Like, I need to get, um, conviction up. I need to get linguistics, politics, etiquette, politics. There we go. That, that'll do. We have politics and linguistics now. I think Emily would have already left as soon as he chose Elizabeth, probably. But I, I, I hope we would have been able to, I don't know, punch her in the fucking face or something. Take the knife and go bad, basically. Achievement unlocked. Battle hardened. Oh, that was the end of episode one? Oh, fuck. I might need to buy episode two then. I'm going to do that now. I'm into it now. <laughs> was that... Is that the end of episode one? Or was that like... Is that the... Uh, uh, <laughs> or did I just die? I fucking love this game. It's so cool. <laughs> Uh, skip credits, I guess? Yeah! There's four four things. Prologue and then... Okay. You know what? I think that was just episode one. Fine. Back. <laughs> Back. Back. Uh, exit. I don't know how to exit. One second. Play? You do not have the next episode. We exit then and we... How do I exit the game? How do I... How do I... How do I exit the game? Oh, exit game. There we go. That was weird. Um, I'm going to live buy this then on Steam. <laughs> we'll all wait on stream as long as it takes to download. Fair enough. Um, the council. Go to here. Uh, go to the store page. I'm not going to show this because it might dox me. I don't know what, what Steam shows. Episode 1 free. Yes, it was. 
Uh, $14.99 for the five episodes. That's actually quite reasonable, to be honest. It can't be a very big file then. Surely not. Add to cart. Uh, oh fuck, I think I might need to, I, I've ordered a new card recently. Do I have a pay, do I have anything on PayPal? I, I think I can use PayPal. Purchase for myself. Uh, my visa. <laughs> I agree. Uh, security code. I need to fucking change my card, don't I? <laughs> oh no. Um, can I add a visa card? I need to go get my fucking card. Back in a second. I'm here. It's 6.30 on G2A. Oh, it's just so inconvenient <laughs> to go through another thing though. Because I'd have to update my card on that too. I'm willing to spend it on Steam. Plus G2A, I think developers don't really like, do they? Anyway. um, No, no oh, fuck me. This is bad. Um, oh no. Okay, what's going to happen is you're going to see... Everything kind of shuffle around on the stream right now as I input my thing. Because the keypad is controlling the stream. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait. I can just use my, my numbers on the top row, right? Yes, that won't shuffle everything around. In fact, let's put this on full camera. There we go. You'll see uh, intense inputting card number action. <laughs> I'm down, we're good here. Expiration date. I just ordered a new one, so it's fucking years away. Security code. Is that? <laughs> I really want to mouth the words for some reason. My phone number. Is that right? Yeah, that's my phone number. I'm not used to seeing my phone number with like the, the area code in front of it. I was confused for a second. Continue. Yeah, that worked. Cool. Purchase. Earn Steam points. What are Steam points? What do Steam points actually do? Oh, it's loading it up. It's loading up my receipt. Look at the pigs while waiting. Um, okay, it's simply visit your library. Install content. This can't be too long, right? Install content. It's in. It's installing, I think. Nothing's loaded up. You can buy stickers your, for your profile picture. Boy. <laughs> Why, though? Like, what's the point? It's saying install content. Worryingly, nothing has come up when I click install content. Oh, downloading zero of one. The council. It's only 4.9 gigs. Um, What I will do is increase my bandwidth as well on Steam, because I think I have that changed. Let me see. Downloads. Oh, yeah, it's limited to six megabytes per second. No limit. It'll be done in a couple of minutes. I have a 12 megabyte per second download. The stream will probably be... Although, no, this isn't doing any uploading, so this will be fine. Right, let's wait for... Um, I don't even know how long. It's currently going 11 megabytes per second. It's already twi It's already 15% done. It's going to be no time at all. You know what I could do in the meantime? I could do a crossword or something, right? <laughs> do I have anything on... Um, uh, up up in the background here. I could do more wordles. Um play zombie. Oh god. I don't I don't think I, I I'm not plugging in my electric guitar again. <laughs> crossword? Yeah, I could do the, the latest crossword for um I still have this uh overlay that I made ages ago for the crosswords. I don't really use it anymore because I haven't done a crossword in forever. Geoguessr? I can't play Geoguess anymore because my uh my thing lapsed. <laughs> my uh my membership lapsed. <laughs> um also, the crossword is not loading. Is the world all right? I mean, I know it's not. Have you seen the news? But like, why is the why is the crossword no longer loading? It's just a white screen. I hate everything, man. Jesus Christ. Who invented the crossword puzzle? Find out. What was Scrabble's original name? I don't care. Um, no, not Tato Park. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cody Cross on the phone is the best game ever. I use um, an app called Shorties. Which is a very bad name for an app. And also, what's the other one I use? I think it's just called like Red Redstone Crosswords or something like that. I like crosswords. I do crosswords before I go to sleep. Um, like as a sort of meditative thing. It's nice. This isn't loading, by the way. 
Let me try reloading it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, games. Same. Yeah, I do them before I go to sleep. In fact, the last few nights, what I've been doing is playing crosswords while also watching watch repair videos, like watch restor vintage watch restorations on my phone, like using the double screen thing, uh, or like the picture-in-picture -picture mode. And it makes me feel... At once, about 14 years old, because I'm actually using picture in picture on my phone. Oh, it's loading, thank God. Um, and also, like I'm an 85-year-old man, <laughs> because I'm watching watch repair fucking videos. Anyway, here, I think now you can see it, maybe? Maybe? Oh, I'm slightly too zoomed in. Is this right? How, how did I use the screen region before? There we go. That's working. Look at that! You can see the, the crossword, and I'm doing a crossword. Good. Sounds really satisfying, though. It's basically what I think people like about ASMR. I think. Although I'm not really sure. How's this download coming along before I do this? Uh, 45%. We'll do one crossword then. I'm bad at these, at least doing them under pressure. Hang on, we'll take off show mistakes, we'll take off sound effects, and we'll skip fill squares. We'll just do it. He has the weight of the world on his shoulders, would be Atlas. Recurring theme, a motif. Naughty. Um, lewd. You can throw them out if I'm stuck if you want, I don't know. Um, bubbling bot waterway. Brook. Ah, ah fuck me. <laughs> Brook. Um, savory taste is umami. A two may beat it. An ace? Appliance for a stylist. I don't know. A, B, C's is basics. Word before blue or colours. True. Tales of old. Lore? And this would be curling iron then? Curling iron? I've never used one. Never even seen one, I'm pretty sure. Faces is mugs. Neglect to include is omit. I'm amazing at this, it turns out. Fortune telling deck is tarot. Deviously obtains. Uh, um, grannies. Nanas. I call that. That's what I call mine. Um, can't help but has to. Dan Castellanetta, who does a really, really, really good version of Your Name, if you know that song. Or, no, not Your Name, that's a movie I like. Your Face, by Maureen McElheron, who I, I think I also did a bad cover of that song at some point. Caesar Rap. Oh, a toga. <laughs> that's it. I thought it was talking about food. In Pursuit Of, no idea. Switch's Partner, Bait. Part of a plot. Scam? Naughty. Ba bad? Animal that may be... Oh, deer crossing. I've never seen that sign, but I think it's an American thing. Fuming feeling. Ire. Uh, in pursuit of. After. I should probably have some music on in the background. Hang on. <laughs> I've decided... Just quietly have Breton boys in the background because that was the first thing loaded up. Um, Ten down is finagled. That is a word that I have only heard used by pensioners, so thank you. Queen or Jack is a face card. Rower's need is an oar. Cozy spot is an alcove. Gentle winds at the beach would be like a an ocean breeze, a sea breeze, sea. Breezes. It's chemical formula is O3, that's ozone. Mustang alternative, no idea. Um, no idea. Play for a polka hand is anti. Many grandparents, no idea. Mustang alternative, a Corvette? Michael's surname on the office. That's prob- oh it's- Finagles, it's Scott. Est... Est... Estes? Este... Esther? Esters? Estes? I don't know. This would be retirees then, probably. I've gotten really good at these, actually, thinking about it. Maple... Tree? Maple leaf is the flag thing that they have? Probably one of the coolest flags. Um... It's, it's probably one of the best flags in the world. Irish flag, it's fine. 
I think it might be my favorite flag. No, the Mexican flag is my favorite flag, but the Canadian's probably second. Physician's Org would be like the, what is it, ACA or AMA or something like that? Thorn in your side. Ah, oh, fuck. MV, an NFL player? How the fuck would I know? Go for broke. Something at all? Something at all. Like, give it your all. Give it all, maybe? Like a controlling older older brother. Have a Vegas wedding, say, would be a lope. Um, avian claw would be a talon. Uh, Norwegian name whose last na letter is F. Olaf? O Olaf, maybe? Clog bottoms. Clog bottoms. What, like the shoes? Soles? Eagles enthusiast. Sports fan? I, I'm i guessing that's a sports team. Because that's the only thing that fits. Uh, this must be the AMA then. Bane makes sense. Somebody called Lamar? No idea. Um, jellyfish defense is a sting. Kinda sorta, I guess. Like Senator Sanders for most of his career. Old? I don't know. <laughs> um, nosy people. Like a controlling older brother. Change the course of deferred? I'm starting to struggle, to be honest. U turn from north northwest is south southeast. Nosy people. Fuck, I should know that. Seeing things. Eyes? <laughs> That's such a dumb pun, but it's eyes, I think. Eagles and factions. Eagles and, Eagles and Falcons would be birds. This is all fucking sports shit that I don't know. Um, relative of stadium is an arena. End of USC's... Is that a college? So it'd be EDU? Something Pele? I have no idea. Like some eagles. Bald. Fun fact, the bald eagle does not make an impressive noise. They fake that sound that you think of bald eagles making. That's actually a falcon. Bald eagles make a really goofy noise that sounds like giggling. That sort of Rawr! is um is is not a bald eagle. I might play that actually while the thing's downloading. It's nearly done. Place to buy FNISS or a plate of meatballs. Oh, it's Americans. Was this IHOP? I went there once. IHOP? International House of Pancakes? Insecticide brand would be Raid? And then... Hawaiian souvenir would be... Uh, this. Word before joke is dead? Oh, that's Ikea. There we go. Sushi bar beverages is sakes. How do you spell sake? Somebody said it. Uh... Sack just spelled sakes. Okay, good. <laughs> Where to watch the ducks play blues? No idea. Finishes. Ends. Holds a grudge. Stays mad? Oh, I want to get it under 10 minutes if I can. Change as a law is amend. Pucks shapes is discs. Uh, French friend is ami. Making, it's probably K actually. Making a fuss? Uh, making a wind? Making a, a wind? I don't know, because it says emulating these and these are all. Oh, I don't know. Uh, farmer's place in a song. No idea. Takes advantage of. Uses. So it's not that. <laughs> um, malicious. Evil? Farmer's place in song. So Old MacDonald had a farm. Um, farmer's place in a song? Like Simone Biles. She's a, a gymnast, so like agile. Speaks angrily. Yells? This is not going to be right, is it? Datum for a bouncer. Age. This must be Dell? And this is not... Making waves, that's it. And this is... Kinda sorta. In a way. 
like Senator Sanders, this was the independent, and then cap worn with a heavy jacket, a ski hat. And this must be go for broke, get it all, which means not dive def deferred. Uh, would it be diverged? Nosy people. Nosy people. Something as. Like a controlling older brother. I think I'm fucked. <laughs> I don't know if I I don't know if any of this is right. You can call me Um because Oh it's bossy! And then Yingas? It's not Yingas. Like a controlling other brother is bossy. Elope, Talon, diverged. Nosy people. I think I might need to like show something here. Oh no, I'm so close! God damn it! Diverted? What the fuck is a Yinta? Okay, thank you, but thank you, guys. Head welcome. Under 10 minutes, that's good. Hang on, let me fucking pause this. What the fuck is a Yenta? Nosy people. Hang on. Define Yenta. A woman who is a gossip or a busybody. I have never heard this word before. North Informal North American. Well, you can't use that. Yenta. 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 Okay, cool. I'd learned a word, apparently. Good. But, you know, under 10 minutes. Good stuff. Yenta's Yiddish. Oh, that makes sense, then. I like Yiddish. Yenta. Like I said, I recommended a book earlier with Yiddish in the title. Yiddish is, sounds nice. Yenta. Yenta. Which is why it's used in America. Does Yiddish exist anywhere outside of America now? Like, I think basically everybody who used, used Yiddish went to, like, New York, right? Like, that's that's kind of the stereotype, at least. I don't know anybody... I don't know where if there's any Yiddish speaking populations left in Europe after all the fucked up stuff that they went through. Um and then Israel only uses Hebrew. I don't know if they use Yiddish at all. Yiddish sounds nice. I've heard Yiddish being spoken and it always sounds cool. Sounds a bit kind of like sounds vaguely German Germany. But you know, anyway, there are Jewish people in Europe. Yeah, but didn't Yiddish kind of die out after after what happened? <laughs> anyway, is the game done? Is the is the game downloaded? Yes, it is. Okay, nice little thing then. Uh, go load up the council. Good. I'm going to minimize that and go over to game. And we can continue. I need to leave in like half an hour, by the way. It's very ironic in a way that Yiddish was originally spoken by the Ashkenazi Jews. I know. <laughs> you know, it sounds nice. <laughs> when you see the symbol, do not turn off your system. Focus home. What else have Focus Home made? I'm sure I recognize Focus Home as a... As a studio. Have they made anything else famous? Surely. Anyway, play. Where's my mother? Five. How many times must I tell you? You must That's my mum, by the way. Life on the line for me. It looks a little bit like mother current Angela Lansbury. Fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your Maggie Smith, that's exactly who she looks like. Without your mother. Hundreds of men. Of the they made Plague Tale, another game I keep meaning to play. All That's I can it. tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Has that corset gotten Do tighter you since the last episode? Of torturing a child? Yeah, she seems a bit, cannons. you know, Lord rough. Assured me that you are to take over Napoleon. Project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrault. French oh, and that guy who punched Emily in the face. Not Emily. Elizabeth in the face. Oh, I forgot that the, the, the horrific man was in this game. That guy. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some urgent business. What the fuck happened to me? Your next reading. Oh, God. Um, the encyclopedia? I guess I'll take the third. Oh, no, I don't have these. What's plus one skill point in logic, plus one in erudition, plus one in science? I'd like to be erudite, I guess. Oh, they're responsible for Vampire and Greed Falls, World War Z, Snow Runner, Aliens Fire. Oh, Aliens Fire Team Elite. <laughs> um, farming Simulator. Oh, God. <laughs> so lots of stuff. Lord Mortimer's Office. Okay, cool. 
What the fuck happened to me? Are we gonna flash back to like Aliens Fire Team Elite is good? What's the one that I'm thinking of that's horrible? Colonial Marines. At last we meet Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? No, Please of course do. not. Thank you. I don't I really know anybody named Louis. Wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the Except seas, that and and I one character from the Anne Rice novels. When I asked you to join us here, it oh, it's um, of Charles Dance or Christopher Plummer. Take your, your pick. Mother. Unfortunately, I am now confronted with another problem. I know he looks like a cross between I the two. Rather have done without. You see, last night, Miss Adams. Oh yeah, she fucking poisoned me with laudanum. Um. Let him speak. I have had my people searching for her all over the island. Alas, to no I hope I look this cool when I'm older. It so happened that both her mental and her physical health are extremely What am I hearing in the background? Now. Some wolf whistling and a I'm scream? That the same should, we, happened to her should we get up and look mother. around? Also, I would appreciate it very much if you could tell me what you were doing on the floor in her room. You're my host, not a cop. Fuck off. I, I can explain everything. Yeah, jog uh, on, <laughs> fucker. Well, I'm glad to hear it. You see, Sir Gregory is about to arrive. And he's taken Elizabeth's disappearance very, What are you going to do? Arrest me? I could kill you right now. Please, reassure him. Probably so not the thing to say when there's an investigation. <laughs> well, you think it's me? I could kill you too. <laughs> William, I would like to see you a moment before we begin. In private. I need Let's to reapply my lead moment. makeup. Louis, this will only take a few moments. Oh, I want his jacket. Look how cool his jacket is. He's dressed so much nicer than us. Oh, Louis's intimidated. Although, again, the little trousers I don't like. I don't like short trousers. I don't own shorts. Oh, they've just left me to snoop. That's what I'm best at. Snooping. Uh, I've obviously searched the study. A chance to look around. Snoop. 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 Your, your mom is a, an Agatha Christie character. You need to snoop. The Nightmare Painted by Fusili in 1781. Oh, it's the one with the sleep paralysis demon. That me it turned into a meme. I don't remember the horse face, if I'm honest. But this got turned into a meme where it was like, this is a, like an early representation of a sleep paralysis demon. I've never had sleep paralysis. It sounds horrific. Like, j I have insomnia, which I, I'm getting medication for at some point soon. But um, it's it, sleep paralysis seems like a whole other nightmare. <laughs> Enclosed are the witness statements of guest Bonaparte and Hillsborough. Statement of Napoleon Bonaparte. When asked what were you doing yesterday evening, Monsieur Bonaparte replied, After talking with Lord Mortimer, <laughs> I spent the evening playing cards with Sir Gregory, Mr. Washington and his eminence Piaget. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sir Gregory won. When asked, did you notice anything strange throughout the evening? Monsieur Bonaparte replied, At daybreak, I saw someone on the balcony, but could not see who it was. This is why I didn't like oral uh, in French. That sounds like a different thing, what I just described. This is why I didn't like oral exams. <laughs> when asked, when, what, what were you doing yesterday? The Duchess replied, I spent the evening in Monsieur de Richet's company. We admired the works exhibited at the Manor Gallery. While going up to bed, we ran into Miss Adams. As I was tired, I left Monsieur de Richet and Miss Adams in conversation and went to bed. When asked, did you notice anything strange about the evening? The Duchess replied, no, not that I remember. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds like you're speaking in Patois. I know it, it veers into that and I really don't attend it. I had it once in uni, fucking terrifying. It, apparently Please you just see shapes down, and shit. Really. Oh, they're really unhappy with me. Yeah, I read your shit. Shouldn't gotten out. This sort of behavior is not working in your favor, young man. Oh, shut up! Gregory, Louis told me we needn't be concerned. Of course. Monsieur de Richet, the situation seems to escape your grasp. We probably so made the I wrong decision. about the bush. Did you kill Elizabeth Adams? What? No, I didn't fucking kill her. She nearly killed me. What are you talking about? I, I only helped her. We talked and she wanted to leave. I, I imagine that's what she did, right? She did. We have found no trace of her leaving, monsieur. So allow me to have my Shut up, doubts. Joker. Nor have we I think the Duchess needs to clean her throat. Louis this is a I... perfectly normal voice. We must remain calm, Gregory. 
We have found no evidence that would suggest that Elizabeth has Okay, been she's not dead. For the time being, maybe she has only disappeared. Like our Let's mom. Stick to maybe the they're facts, together now. If you please. Probably wouldn't be good for her. Well, where is she then? How the fuck would I know? Um How would I know? <laughs> Weirdo. I'm simply incapable of telling you where she might be. And we never talked about her destination. What I can say is that the last time I saw Elizabeth, she was in her room, and she just decided to leave the island. Gregory, you must admit that just because Louis doesn't know where Elizabeth is, yeah, not Gregory, proof that something's happened to her. It's like the snitch standing beside the teacher, Damn going like, "Well, I think he's guilty." Sir Fiasco, sir, you don't seem to realize just how serious in primary this school, is. Uh, one of the teachers cold. had a son in the class, and he would get away with all sorts of shit. Case, and it was this guy, far this Elizabeth guy, grown really up, really has left the island, as Louis says. Oh, I love him. Let him Why go. Why do you think she wanted to leave? <laughs> oh, the awkward shuffle. Um, true. Tr all of them are true. This one, the least. I did advise her to. How much do we want to give away? I'm gonna regret this. She was terrorized by my mother's presence here. Just the thought of coming face to face with her was unbearable. Did she tell you why? Yes, she brought the subject up. I'm sorry, Louis. It couldn't have been that. That enforcer easy reminds me of your Dick sake. Dickstra from The Witcher. That Is that the character safety. in The Witcher who Monsieur basically looks like a little meat I nugget? I apologize if my words seemed a little abrupt. I dare not think what would happen we did it. if Elizabeth came across your mother on the island. Your generosity may well cost you dearly. I understand, my lord. I certainly regret it. Yay! Success! Love it. You don't need us for any of this. So come along, Monsieur Peru. Peru? Do you have a glass eye? It's kind of cool. I'd like a glass eye, I think, if it went, if, if an eye went. Right. No, I'd like an it's eye patch. Time we spoke yeah, I'd like an eye patch. Me. But you know, like a Columbo-style glass eye could work. Is Columbo... This is something that came up, I think, at one point. I, I can't remember what show I heard it on. Is Columbo meant to have a glass eye? Like, is is the character of Columbo... Because Peter Falk... Dre over here thinking like an absolute peasant. Like, um... Columbo, the character, I don't think is meant to have a glass eye. But Peter Falk has a glass eye. So is the glass eye playing a real eye in the show Columbo? Or is it just never brought up? You can have both, a patch for some cozy a patch, a patch and an eye patch for some cozy time. I would like, that would be kind of cool. Just have an eye patch and then lift it up and have like a red eye under there. What was that? Um, I was watching QI at one point and Sandy Toxfig was the host. And the glass eye is himself introducing the glass eye. But um, Sandy Toxfig was the, was the host of the time. And I was watching it and um, she said her dad or her granddad, I think, had a glass eye. And she said when he would go out to the bar, what he'd do is he would take out his eye. And like just a normal blue eye. Take out his eye and put it in a box. And then replace it with a bloodshot one. And say, I'm not going to come back until these two match. And then walk out the door. <laughs> Which I thought was very funny. Anyway. Um, she's in high... I don't trust this guy, I think. She is in hiding though, we know that. She's hiding on the... Because she left little snacks for herself. She left little snacks and some gunpowder and stuff. So she was clearly expecting to pick it back up. So she's probably gone into hiding. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. I'd want to buy a neck replacement. For the past I talked about this weeks, before on a YouTube video, I think. But I did see a video of the NHS giving somebody a bionic why, eye recently, and I thought it was the coolest fucking thing I'd ever seen. To avoid I want to... Like, it looked like a Terminator who, eye as well. It was glowing opinion, red, and I was like, that's so fucking cool. Cat or the mouse? Oh, I hadn't considered that. Is she chasing somebody, or... I think she's running from something. I'd like to answer the cat, but unfortunately I'm increasingly worried. What is happening in the background? Back oh, is that the, the bird whistling? That doesn't I thought it was the fucking better. scummy bodyguard wolf whistling at somebody. Why my mother came to your I mean, It's just the scummy bird. I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. 
I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others? Oh yeah, yes. I fucked that up, I'm How sorry. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about Bonaparte. it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. I would say he's known he for that, historically. supposed to let historically. me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. No. I took it upon well, myself I'm not going to fucking help Napoleon. Are you insane? That he can go far. Yet he told me that you had spoken and that you hadn't been able to reach an understanding. Hmm. That's putting it mildly. Yeah, he hates me now, sorry. Mr. Bonaparte is one of those guys who only understands people who think like he does. Ah, I see what you mean. He is indeed rather inflexible when it comes to certain subjects. I think it's all but the starch in the uniforms. That you can manage to get along. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Why help a lieutenant of the fucking French army? Why are you doing this? In other news, companies making implants are now cutting support for older models, so they just run out after a while, and people who got implants go blind and deaf again. Basically, I would expect that. I mean, like, people... There are... Did you... There are a certain fraction of the population who seem to be excited for the Elon Musk brain chips, despite the fact that he killed all those monkeys when he put them into them. It's like they just fucking killed monkeys by putting the brain chips in, and they're like, yeah, sh put that shit in me. Like, brain chips, I'm not against the idea in in principle, but Elon Musk brain chips? His cars go out of their way to kill people. <laughs> like, why would you put one of his chips in you? It's insane. Anyway, why help a lieutenant? Isn't Bonaparte a bit young to deserve so much attention? Well, you come straight to the point. I like that. Indeed, if Ooh, you we're getting along with him. How much I like his voice. Of him. Again, Trust I hope me, as I get older, I'm my waiting. voice gets Monsieur a bit more gravelly. Will a bit more like this. himself. <laughs> I'm working on it, at least. I'm working on it, at least. <laughs> Once this, I can't really do it. I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? I basically you wish see, I had the voice I've of Charles Dance. Several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping I Sarah do. would be able to join us. Hmm. I Sorry, see. I have cranberries on the mind. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us before the conference, would you do me the great honor hmm. of attending? I if think they might try and sacrifice me. Waiting for her to duly take her I think they might Why be not? doing a culty sacrifice thing. They need my blood ah, or something because my mum's so gone. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what he said. That painting's and ominous in the background. There's something else I'd like to read. You should do Thursday, gay, play Earlier, something kind of gay on Thursdays. Official reason for your mother's What, is Conquer not clear is enough for you? off the record reason? Why what would that even be? Uh, video games are, don't have the the g most glorious history of being, like, accepting of LGBTQ plus people. So, like, is there any, like, openly gay video game protagonists or anything? I don't think so. At least not that I can think of off the top of my head. I don't even know what you what I'd play. Anyway. I guess Pokemon, if I, like, caught all the Eevees. A lot of them seem LGBT. <laughs> um. She was looking for a buyer? Overwatch? Oh yeah, isn't Soldier from Overwatch gay? Something like that. The one who looks a bit like Clint Eastwood. I'm sure Clint Eastwood's overjoyed about that. But um, because he's weird. Apex Legends? I've never even seen Apex Legends being played. Tracer and Soldier 76. Is Tracer the, uh, the like chipper British one? He goes, hello love, I'm Tracer. That one. The council is set in 1793, so Napoleon is 24 here. He's so young, and he's already bald. Aww. Hello, love. Let's turn back time a little bit. That that voice, right? <laughs> the Last of Us? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's some, she's, Ellie is, is gay in The Last of Us, isn't it? Um, Beyond Two Souls has Elliot Page in it. Does that count? <laughs> it's a terrible fucking game. Anyway, she was looking for a buyer, I guess? She... 
She was looking for someone. Life is strange. What, what Life is mean? strange seems like Paris, a really melodramatic soap opera from the little I've seen of it. With occult objects. Dream we Daddy. I should play Dream Europe Daddy on stream. To go to you, Thank you for my... I think I own Dream Daddy. Was here to find out to I'm whom almost positive to I got Dream Daddy oh. in a humble bundle well, ages ago and never played it. Odila? That and Sucker for Love. The, the full version. I need to get that as well. Anyway. What was the name of your dealer? Fuck, I can't remember. It was Von... Assassin's Creed Odyssey is very gay. It's in ancient Greece. <laughs> Hello, Mad Killer. Welcome. Fuck, what was the name of my dealer? I can't remember. Von Brochet? Von Borschert? Von Brebis? Something German, you know. Some, one of those. Uh... Fuck, I, I have to hedge my bets. It was uh, something Germanic. I can't remember exactly. Von... Oh, something or other. Von Volner? No, not your friend Mr. Von Volner. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion... It's the same year of Napoleon's first major battle. Too long. Several weeks. How's the stream going? Well, I mean, a lot of accidental mutings of my mic... I went kind of cockney there. Accidental <laughs> musings of the mic. But, um, you know, other than that, pretty good. I had a pig on my desk earlier. I have to end again very soon. I have an appointment. But, like, <laughs> I'm enjoying the council. I'm now very, very into. I was, like, reasonably into it at the end of the last stream. The test stream I did of it. Now I'm like, I want to know what the fuck was going on with Elizabeth. What the fuck's going on with my mum. Is she sleeping with everybody? Because that's the kind of vibe I'm getting. Anyway, um... I think she's wary of some... I think she might have just... I think they might have wanted to sacrifice my mum. Maybe she found something out. What do you mean? My mother has a gift for investigating. She's something if of she a Miss Marple. Up a lead, nothing would have stopped her. The only thing I can tell you... I mean, Agatha Christie disappeared for a while, didn't she? Same, th same sort of thing. At the beginning of her stay here, although I think that might have been a breakdown. Together, solving the world's problems. Hmm. What did you speak about together? You seem to know my mother very well, my lord. My lord. What did you talk about together? Oh, I, oh uh, my favorite thing in the world would be if Henry like from KCD was the main character of this game. Any subject, we would find ourselves embarked on interminable discussions. What's going on here then? <laughs> Monsieur Blanchard's flight in a hot air balloon to the Treaty of Jassy, or the adoption of the metric system in France last year. God, eat the rich. <laughs> the more Eli these people Whitney talk, I'm like, eat the rich. <laughs> um, it was absolutely a breakdown. She forgot who she was and lived to someone else in a spa for weeks. Poor woman. Oh, it's just quite sad, to be honest. Um, politics or erudition? Do you think he's more poli this guy would appreciate politics or erudition more? Probably erudition. I think he seems like a fancy boy. I I only like the fanciest of things. I live in my fancy house in my fancy clothes. Even my servants are fancy. Ah, yes. His famous cotton gin. It was supposed to revolutionize cotton production in the United States. Probably needed it, let's be honest. Revolutionize the world, Louis. The potential of this invention is much greater. Tomorrow, all industries will be switching to simple but large-scale production. Of that, I'm sure. I'm surprised she didn't get okay, to start into crusades. Her, her husband was, was a dick, but she found someone better <laughs> after. <laughs> 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 oh. Sarah and I, I don't really know anything about Agatha Christie. I've never read any of the books. It so happens. I know my uh, grand uncle was really into Poirot and Miss Marple, like really my into ancestor them. Distinguished himself Especially really Poirot, but I've never read any of them. I haven't seen any of the movies really. I've seen like two episodes of David Suchet's Poirot, and they were okay. I liked them, but um, I've never ex investigated more. I, <laughs> honestly, one of the few things I know about her is that disappearance thing and that's because of Doctor Who because she was the character in that one Doctor Who episode with the giant wasp <laughs> where like Agatha Christie um Catherine Tate and fucking David Tennant fight a giant wasp and then that that explains her disappearance I love that show but I can't really explain why if I'm honest 
Difficulty zero. Erudition again. The famous papal bull of Pope Gregory the Eighth. I don't know anything about popes. I don't even know the name of the current pope. Is it Francis? And it was Ratzinger last? And I don't know who was before that. I know nothing about popes. Mother lulled my I know it from a BuzzFeed Unsolved episode. How Richard the Lionheart and Philip Augustus had to battle it out to achieve their ends. And how Guy de Lusignan, having broken Guy his word, Lusignan. launched the siege of Saint Jean d'Arc. Oh, French is the I nicest see, sounding language, isn't it? The last one was resources. Benedict. I, I on you, think I knew that, can claim but I know I only knew his age? like original name before he was Benedict, which is Your something Ratzinger. Is very he was well German, wasn't he? You're quite lucky to have her as a model. And then this one's Argentinian, yes, I think. I know, but I'm still very worried. I must admit, there are worse things to worry about now, Louis. We're mean? getting very close to each other. Since she disappeared. Your mother has been seen once. Oh. Her behavior... And she was wearing the skin of a bear. Right. Greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She went feral. I'm sorry, she Louis. We had to put her down. ...to attack Emma. Emily Hillsborough's twin... She's turned sister. into some sort of were creature. And she shot her with a pistol. Oh, fuck! Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Oh, Hang fuck! On. Really? That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Mother shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me. She she must be evil that then. And the childhood like, of Lady Adams, it's Emily must it's be a little evil. Bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the mm, beginning. I don't know if I believe what Charles Dance. For that to change. I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by. The more she withdrew into herself, the days she never gave by. me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. I just really love his coat. <laughs> where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. What is a box room? Would, just would Is it literally just where you store boxes? Naturally, I'm not rich, course, so I don't have many I'll rooms. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on mm. her trail and follow mm. up in the leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, Who's the last I shall guest? get someone to open the box room upstairs. For Another you. fucked up historical Thank character. <laughs> I wonder if we can ask George Washington about his slaves later. <laughs> hmm. The room was just opposite Mortimer's study. Okay. What, just this one over here? Go to the tower room. Just such high ceilings. I have really low ceilings in this house. Um, if I go upstairs, I I can stand up fully and stretch out and stand tall. Tall. I can stand here and the roof comes to this this height. I am five foot eight. If my uh, parents come, they can't stand in the room. <laughs> my mum can, my dad can't, my brother can't. Um, they can't stand in my bedroom. They have to, like, creak down like that, like Gandalf coming in to see Bilbo at the start. My, my dad helped me lay carpet in my bedroom when, uh, when I moved in here, just to refurbish things a little bit. And, uh, any time, he would constantly forget that he couldn't stand up fully, and so he'd constantly slam his head against the ceiling and make the exact same noise as Ian McKellen does when he slams his head in that chandelier. And I laughed every single time and made him genuinely quite angry. <laughs> Dante's Paradise. Oh, I mean, Raise you're Dante at some point. Assured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in a race. Uh, so a box room, I'm guessing, is just a store. What I would refer to as a spare room, where you just throw all your trash that you're not using. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. And they really love their paintings in this game. Mm. Examine the painting. Do I want to? I don't want to waste my jelly right now. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul I'll take your word for it. I don't know anything about art. Curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. Okay, that's all I can really do. <laughs> Maybe I'll take some jelly. I don't know. Look for clues. How can I look for clues when I don't even have, like, a comically oversized magnifying glass? 
It's like this game doesn't know what investigators do. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Ooh, so it's like laudanum again? <laughs> honey. I couldn't have. Oh, never mind. Honey. We're using it now then. We get extra honey. I'm using the extra honey. This was just a book, Dante's random book. Paradise. Raise you your have a comically oversized shame. chin what that'll have to do. I'm like, I put Bruce Campbell to shame, like and that's hard to do. Although mine is too narrow. This doesn't have, like, the broad chin of, like, Bruce Campbell, or this might date me, but, like, a desperate Dan, <laughs> you know? <laughs> mine is too pointy and, you know, meh. I look like an evil Tim Burton character. You could stab Bruce Campbell with it. <laughs> is Desperate Dan a character that made it out of Ireland and Britain? I read The Dandy as a kid a little bit. The Beano and The Dandy. I'm almost sure they don't exist anymore. I'd be shocked if they did. But Desperate Dan was a character with a comically large chin. It was a cowboy? Hang on, I'll look up a picture of Desperate Dan. <laughs> Des <laughs> Thin and pointy, more like a Tim Burton hero. Yeah, he does kind of look like that. Beano was better than The Dandy? Agreed! I liked Banana Man from The Dandy, but that's kind of it. I never really liked The Dandy as much. But anyway, des desperate Dan. Like Dennis the Menace and... What was my, my favourite? Was Roger the Dodger. God, this makes me sound fucking old. Um, desktop. This was Desperate Dan. He, uh, this was a joke I never got when I was a kid. He eats cow, po cow pies. And, uh, that was a joke I now get. <laughs> and did not get at the time. It's just cow, a pie with horns. A cow pie, if you don't know, is what some people call, um, piles of cow shit. Anyway. <laughs> the Legend of Desperate Dan. Weird comic. If you don't know, they were like, um, like comic strips, basically, but in like a children's comic book that was very cheap. It was like a euro for a, a book of the dandy. And you'd get like some sweets with it. 55p for this copy. And there would be like... 10 little stories in it basically and it was a way to kill an afternoon anyway let's look for clues and then I will after this room is done I'll probably have to go um but I guess the only thing I can see to look for now is this painting I could leave was this the front door hang on is this back out or is this into the bedroom or something oh it's locked the door appears game to fuck me You'll watch Desperate Dan and you'll like it. Uh, open it. Bash it open. Oh! I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. Hmm. Oh, you do the thing. This is this is uh, something that I learned, and I think I've used it once. You get a, a sheet of paper. It doesn't work now, but like what you're supposed to do is if there's a key on the other side of a lock, if it's locked from the inside, what you do is you get a lock pick or something. You put a sheet of paper under the door. You push, you use the lock pick to push the key out of the lock. So it falls on the sheet of paper and then you pull it under the door. If anyone needs to break into a house at any point, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need something to help me get the key that fell on the floor. The door was closed from the inside. Would Mother have provided something within reach to recover it? Yeah, but you've done it in the wrong way. You could have just used a sheet of paper. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Stream end when? Like five minutes? I'm, I'm putting it off because I want to do this room. Dante's Paradise. Oh, no, not Dante's Paradise. Stop looking at Dante's Paradise. Oh, a poker? Papers there we go. Burnt papers. There's papers. a fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. It says, says don't use the thing. Way to don't push it out. Onto us. And Trust now, in why? The, the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? Hmm. I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Press back to consult your notes. Okay, this is going to be a bigger puzzle than I thought. I need to end then. <laughs> I will see. I might be live again tomorrow. I'll see. I might be live again tomorrow, Monday. And I'll be live four times again next week. But um, I, I do need to go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be late. I've gone five minutes over already. Um, 
Thank you for watching. It's been a good stream. Thanks for... I'm always um slightly... The next room will take you a bit once you've even opened it. Um, So yes, this will be back next week, I think it's fair to say. I'm always a bit wary when I, um, when I try out kind of games that are not particularly popular or, you know, maybe a bit older on the stream and not old enough to be retro, just kind of games that I'm interested in, in watching. Because I'm always like, ah, will anybody actually watch and enjoy it? But, you know... I like that, you know, there was a decent turnout today and my viewership was about average. So, like, it means that I can do more of this kind of thing and just play weird, wacky shit. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for bits and follows and all that kind of thing. Again, I might be live over the weekend. If I'm not, I'll be live on Monday, definitely. Um, thank you and goodbye again. Have a have a nice weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, or have a nice Friday. I don't know what people do on weekends. I'm very boring. I don't really do anything on weekends, to be honest. I kind of just continue as normal. I don't know, when you work, when you don't have like a nine to five job, everything's kind of, you know, muddled. I don't know what day of the week it is. Honestly, the only reason I know what day of the week it is is because of this fucking stream anymore. And sometimes I forget. So like, like today I was a little bit late because I forgot I was streaming. So yeah, um, goodbye. See you later. Have fun. <laughs>